so guys, I don't know, I was just looking around and I was just thinking, there aren't that many magazines for like 5e DMs who've got a bit too much time on their hands, are there? You know what, Will? It's funny you say that. Is because, it? Yeah, because we're supported by Crucible magazine, a Kickstarter that's just happening. Hey, hey, Chloe. Did you have anything interesting to say about it? You know what? Actually, I do. <gasps> How funny. <laughs> we have some exciting news today as our good friends TJ and Alex are launching the long-awaited Crucible magazine on Kickstarter. It's a <gasps> monthly magazine packed with over 80 pages of 5th edition content like adventures, subclasses, magic items, a four-page comic, interviews, and more. Whoa, 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 but, but, but more? wait a minute. More? <laughs> what? more? But if I'm not sure about this uh, old magazine lock, could I see, like, some sort of free tester copy? Well, <laughs> yes, you can. Because no. today is the first day to hop on the Kickstarter where you can get a free copy of their launch issue. Wow. wow. You what's, know, you what's know. the name of that magazine again? <laughs> it's the Crucible magazine. Crucible magazine. Crucible magazine. You know what though? I just like old fashioned magazines, but I also want them not to be like old fashioned in content. I want them to feel new. Are they like that? Well, you see, Crucible magazine is reminiscent of magazines of old with a next generation and modern look for a digital world. Whoa. Oh, Will, that sounds perfect for both me and you. Exactly. <laughs> it's the age gap. <laughs> Each issue is coming as a monthly printed magazine and PDF. And not only that, Crucible has teamed up with Foundry VTT and every issue comes built into a complete JSON module with all of the adventures and playable content included in one easy package. My I love GPT. JSON wow. modules. <laughs> I don't, I, am I supposed to say JSON? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think this makes it even better. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's incredible, but... Well, you already told us kind of what it includes, but is there anything additional to those adventures and mo monsters and magic items? Oh, so many things. You get four adventures, new monsters, magic items, player options, a four-page full-color comic, comic, industry wow. interviews, a DMing advice column, and more. Well, I don't know about you, but I certainly need some DMing advice. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> oh my God. Is there any stretch goals? <laughs> well, Hamilton, you see, there's many stretch goals there also, including 3D printable STLs of BBEGs, Whoa. a custom DM screen, Whoa. glowing metal dice sets, Metal wow. pins, sticker sets, a limited edition box set, and so much more. Well, you know what? That sounds amazing. Now, where could I go to find that? Insert our name instead of Kickstarter at the end of that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can go over to www.cruciblemag.com slash dragon's jewel. Whoa, how incredible. After wow. that, <laughs> that sounds like a great way to experience a new magazine <laughs> and support this show. Isn't it just? <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Dragons flying in the sky Raining terror down on me Raining terror down on you Evil wizards on the rise Raining terror down on me Raining terror down on you Who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight? Who's gonna fight? Yeah, most full of rage now freed from his cage A hero and a sage He's the druid for our age Then there's Hanul Ambar, full of wonder lost He's always on the run Looking for that next rush Frankie, you should never cry For at any cost she's never lost That's why she's the boss 
Then there's carrot kisses, she artifices and never misses with her wishes. That's right. Huh? Be reminded that they're coming now for you. Yeah, they're coming now for you. So perhaps just be reminded that they're coming now for you. Yeah, they're coming now for you. Correct us, be reminded. Correct us, be reminded. Hello everyone. Hello people at home. It's episode seven. 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 It is, I wrote it all down. I seven. seven. So many people went for the Bruce. Oh, seven. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe's the one who takes the notes, right? It's, yes. Uh, worth yeah. Yeah. Thank gosh. Well, with that, we're going to try something new this week. Ooh. Yeah. Instead of me rambling on for thirty minutes, getting called out by Ryan and Mosey. Uh, live online. Yeah, what? Like... Right, they're just jealous because our show's better than them. <laughs> yeah. That's all it is. Gauntlet don't, drops. S- <laughs> don't, don't, you know, uh, listen to the peer pressure. Yeah, no, but also I, I hate listening to my own voice too much, so it would be nice to hear from you. So why don't, why don't you tell me? Why don't you, lovely people, tell me what happened last week on the Shattered Realm? <laughs> well, you see, I take notes. Good. Wow. <laughs> right, you start then, Chloe. <laughs> That would have been better if I hadn't hit the microphone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Season professional and all that. Yeah. Also that, and I think I stopped taking notes halfway through, so it's going well so far. <laughs> right. I will help out. Don't worry. I'm here to help out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, we arrived in the pub, uh, Sans Hummel. Yes. Who decided mm. that instead of joining us like a sensible person, he was going to go and face Admo- Asmodeus, mm. as you do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Why not? He's my little bitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is he now or is he the other way around? Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, we got we got there with Zoe was there and Zoe was like, we should we should get a we should have a party. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we discovered that maybe all the portals are broken. Yeah. In Sigil. Yeah. Which is completely reliant on portals. Yeah. So that's yep. pretty bad. Mm-hmm. And Brian was trying to get us to not tell anyone well because it um, seemed seemed to have just sort of recently happened so yes as in like people might not have, have only just realized as mm. in yeah. momentarily <laughs> as in um yeah in the as process in... of realizing yes exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh yeah so we were like hmm the portals are broken that's kind of a problem and then mm. the lady of pain just turned up out outside just yeah, yeah. it wasn't even a we need to go and see the Lady of Pain now. It's like she she just turned up yeah. outside the door. You had she kind of it. ignored her for like a few, like quite a while. I mean, yeah. to be fair, I can't really figure out how many hours you were on the Abyss for, but it probably was only like six or seven hours. But, you know, you did jaunt about <laughs> for a bit. <laughs> And, Wait, uh, yeah. and, and the Lady of Pain really took to, to Frankie. Uh, there was a, um, I could feel um, there was a bond. Pa- pa- there. Paralyzed feel. Frankie. Yeah. I seem to recall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Frankie has problems with authority. If we didn't already know that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sur- surprise! Shocking. <laughs> Shocker. Spoiler alert. Uh, Le- Lady of Pain is like peak veterinary from Discord. Do I need a badge which says tyrant? Sort of thing. <laughs> um, La- Lady of Pain struck Mrs. Bad Grumble. Yes, yeah. I know. You picked that up, didn't you, Chris? Yes. <laughs> Snog as a bug in a rug. <laughs> uh, um, I want to play sexy tunes. That's what concerto, that's what... concerto. <laughs> Sorry, I this love is... that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm not, I'm not just Googling who that is. Okay, um, it's an yeah. Eddie Izzard skit. Eddie Izzard. It... Sorry for um, the... I have not seen that one. Oh, okay, fine. It's, um, it's, uh, yeah, I think definitive... it's... I want to play sexy tunes. If article, definitive article, yeah, yeah, it's really good. And he's like young, and he said, "I wanted to learn a really cool. I wanted to learn a really cool instrument so I could impress girls. But uh, you know, how am I going to impress girls with playing a recorder? <laughs> so <laughs> she got one of the like sexy tunes, and he goes, well, I don't know. Hummel's managed it. Yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, <laughs> my gosh. Let, okay, it's visual canon. <laughs> this is bad. Grumble is also your 
Just record a feature. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> anyway, yes. So, yeah, it's Lady oh, yeah. Pain. Lady of Pain's here. Yeah. Uh, she was very scary. Mm. Hubble turned up halfway through the conversation and, like, completely just blanked her and went and got a drink, yeah. which somehow she let him off with. That's because Hubble's hard. <laughs> I think it was because she had enough to deal with that she couldn't be bothered to deal with a pet. No, it's because I called it absolutely right. It's they need us more than we need them. And that, that's what it is. <laughs> We're untouchable. Yeah, okay. Mm, All right. Okay, okay. I feel like I feel like there's there's a lot there's a leash that she's letting you loose on and then slowly but surely she'll yeah. pull it back. She's gonna <laughs> wow. I, I think, yeah. Hummel, Hummel came back in his basic sort of moody teenage years yeah, and that's wasn't yeah. too much of the cue yeah. oh what's the point of anything? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually gonna say it was like Hummel's Hummel just read second. like a book by Nietzsche or something. Yes. Yes. Stuff. Having an existential crisis. I, Sorry, I, I, my... I was quite enjoying like Hummel and um, Zoe both being like quite nihilistic, but from yeah. completely different ends of the spectrum. Yeah, it's like nothing really matters. Nothing matters. It's yeah. Nothing matters. It's all pointless. Nothing really matters to me. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that the intention of this wasn't to make it shorter. <laughs> no, it was meant to say yeah, I, was I wasn't say. chatting. That's all. I don't care. I don't. I, as I, I, you you called it. You said it won't go any quicker. And I was like, yeah, but at least it's not thirty minutes of me just waffling on. So that's good. I'm interested um, to see how you remember it as well. It's quite fun to yeah, see. Yeah, your... well, this is about the point that I stopped making notes. So okay. <laughs> I'm going to make it up. Uh, yeah. We learned we some do, important like, a things. Beyond this. Yeah. Huh? yeah. We didn't do a ton more beyond this. No. Anyway. No, you learned some. You we learned, learned some, some important things. Yeah, go on. We learned true. that nobody knows what, who Corruptus is. So mm -hmm. we would assume that this is the timeline in which he was never born. Yeah. yeah. Um, we learned that. The Lady of Pain, although pissed off with us, wants us to go and fix the portals and we'll figure fix out, the yeah. universe yeah. somehow, because apparently we're the only ones that can do it. Mm. Uh, Gigi um, has the axe yeah. to do uh, this. And there was a big sort of pinkish purplish ball in the sky, which mm. is apparently contains our alternative selves. Mm. And mm. that's getting slowly bigger. And if we don't um, help Lady of Pain, um, our world will cease to exist. Yeah, yeah there was some weird like lightning coming out of it yeah. occasionally. Yeah, there was one incident that had happened already, which lightning had hit a portal to uh, the plane of positive energy plane, and it created like an explosion of positive energy in a se mm -hmm. sector of the city, like a like a like a, a like a block, let's say, like a city block sort of size. Yeah, mm. yeah. and that had already happened. And then we got very, very um, drunk yeah. and random stuff happened. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Somebody God, yeah. got married. <laughs> well, it was, yeah, that was not... the highlight of my week last yeah. week. <laughs> Never mind the facing off against Asmodeus and all that nonsense. What? Just... Yeah, and so Hummel was... became the the the, the, <laughs> yeah. the chief uh, dairy and uh, produce uh, taste quality quality manager. <laughs> quality yes. manager for the dairy dairy institute of Sigil. <laughs> I yeah. mean, and, we uh, nearly ended up with two people with, uh, yeah. in debt yes. to Asmodeus. Uh, yeah. Well, you should have took that deal. G it would have been uh, Yeah, G G was just like, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Frankie was in jail. Well, which Fra Frankie Walker tried jail, to so commandeer a boat. A <laughs> <laughs> and Brian came yeah, to go like... get her out of jail. <laughs> I, I feel like if if Frankie was writing like a life pro tip or like a like money saving expert, it's like if you get arrested every night, you don't have to pay for a hotel exactly. room. Exactly. Yeah. It's cheap. The bail was only ten <laughs> gold <true>. pieces. <laughs> yeah. Actually, uh, to be fair, that's I think a lot a, more than a yeah. In -room. <laughs> yeah, an in a really good five star in would probably be maybe like maybe just about ten gold pieces. I'd yeah, say. But, but if, if you don't pay for the bail, then it's free. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, that, Brian that Brian true. subbed the bill, didn't he? So that's <laughs> yeah. a fair point. <laughs> but Brian <laughs> might have paid for your hotel rooms as well. <laughs> you never know. Oh, um, Brian. Yeah, yeah, Brian is doing his best to not die of panic, I think is, is kind of what's going <laughs> well, on. Well, yeah, him. Brian basically got, was already freaking out and then realized that his freak out was just because he knew what was going to coming, that she was going to be very angry with him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um, you also got given some other names. I'll just remind you of them now. Mm. She said that uh, by from uh, Brian, this was after post fact because. It... Oh, I did write some of this down. Okay, Wait. yeah, cool. There's a dwarf. No, there's mm -hmm. a dabu that follows a dwarf. What does that say? Yes. No, there's Petrel? a dabu and a. 
fell. 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 Like someone's fallen. Like fell. fell. I fell it's over. It's an F. Yeah. <laughs> fell. Uh, yeah. Fell. Who's a he's a fallen Dabu cleric of Aosakar. So who is the person who made the the, the realm shredding axe? Yes. And is this god whose temple used to be the home of the Athar, which mm-hmm. is the shattered temple? Which... I also have written down Lysindra, but no details. Yes, Lysindra, <laughs> the gatekeeper. She has the she uh, is a wizard who is the the sort of who, the most knowledgeable about all the portals and doors in Sigil. So she's someone that you could go speak to. Uh, yeah, Garamundi is a dwarven preacher of Eoscar who hangs out at the shattered temple, which is also the temple. No, no, no relation to Shattered Temple. No relation at all. And yeah, that's about, those are the names that you got given. And that something weird is happening at the temple. Yes. That that's where get. we ended up after our Which is where you crossing. ended up anyway, because that's because <laughs> that is where Gigi's um, faction is, basically. And so mm-hmm. that's his, like, his clubhouse, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's where, yeah, your sort of meeting lodge area. Um, so yeah, so you'd all, <laughs> you'd all woken up. With your various pieces of paper, generally. Yeah. <laughs> All paper-based. Um, and uh, why don't we start alphabetical then with uh, Carrie. Uh, Carrie, there you are. You've woken up with your piece of paper that states that your name is now officially Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> she, Zoe. Should, she should be last then, surely. Is right? Yeah, I'm last Oh, now. that's true. You are now last. <laughs> oh, I should really swap this round for the episode. I'm going to do that. <laughs> JR, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to swap them round. <laughs> but you, there you go. Um, no, I yeah. think she's still going to go by Carrie because that yeah. would get confusing. That so. would get really <laughs> confusing. But Zoe goes, Zoe sort of like, as I said, Zoe's on like, there's like, you're on a cot uh, sort of bed, like very much like prison bed. And then Zoe's on the floor, sort of in the corner, sort of just like with a blankets over her and sort of like a big coat or something like that. And she's sort of in the corner. And... Um, and you wake up and yeah, she sort of like snores ridiculously loudly, like <laughs> <laughs> and then says something in infernal <laughs> and then breathes and then and it's then, probably a swear word. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you recognise it might be that rash Shasha's armpit smell thing that she said to Luke before <laughs> to Hummel before. Yeah, and she's sort of there, uh just asleep. Okay. Uh I guess like Carrie probably is gonna wake up um I don't think I like. She's not unused to having a hangover, but she doesn't happen very often. Mm. I don't think so. She's like, oh my god, oh my god, what, what is happening? Kind of thing. Um, do it. Do, are we like waking up, being like, how did, how did we get here, or do we remember coming to the you, temple? You, you. Why did I'm gonna say? You can tell. You can play it however you like. You play it however you want. You can ha- remember whatever you want, or I can make a roll. If you want to make a roll, I'm happy to yeah, make a constitution let's roll. Let's make a constitution roll then. So if you let's just see what you get. Uh, plus your modifier, and we'll see what you get. Eight. An eight. You don't remember Ooh. much. <laughs> the last yeah. thing you last thing you remember is saying is having a conversation with Zoe about how much you hated your name. Yeah. And Zoe convincing me your name is the best name ever. So she, when you told, she like, you would, you were saying you hate your name. She goes, why do you hate Gary? Like, Gary is a good name. And you're like, and you could go, my real no. name is Garrett Gisses. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, what is even better? That's such a cool name. I love Garrett's and Gisses are cool, but Garrett Gisses is like, that's so unique. How many, there's so many people called Gary. You know, Carrie Fisher, Carrie from Sex in the City. You who, want you... Who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've traveled the planes. I know shit. <laughs> I've been to Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. So yeah, but she yeah. says yes. Carrie Kiss is unique, one of a kind name, and and then you kind of go. She goes. I know. I know. I'll take your name. You take my name. You see what how boring it is to be called just Zoe. And that's when you leave and you go <laughs> yeah. and get your names changed. <laughs> And we were like, what a great idea! Yeah. And that's when you, re- that's and what you remember. Like, oh, God. Uh, and I don't like pick up the piece of paper and like look at it a, a bit, kind of like, hmm. And then, so, oh, God. Hereby <laughs> decree, hereby decree <laughs> that the once previously known as Caracuses is now officially known as Zoe. <laughs> In all legal matters, henceforth. <laughs> until uh, something is until rescinded by owner and signed co-signed by name sharer <laughs> or name giver yeah. or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I guess it could have been worse. 
I'm gonna go over to Zoe and sort of. I don't. Is she like completely fast asleep? Like, she's I sort of she's... like yeah, it's like a bundle, like yeah, on the floor. You could basically just see like a lock of hair just like coming out from like you know when someone's just like got like that much of the covers, like you can just see a corner of an eye, and that's about it. And the horns are sort of like out of the hair. No. I'm gonna sort of look at her a bit, and be like, sort of as if like I'm like. I just wake her up. I'm gonna wake to her up. To be honest, you get and up then... and you got cloppy. Like, can you make a stealth roll? Because <laughs> I'm just imagining it's a stone floor, so it's gonna be. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sort of sound. Also, I guess I guess I'm still in my armor, so. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh. Yeah, you would. You but you all like passed out just completely as you were, sort of thing. I rolled two thirteens, so that's a fourteen. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, mm. so you're pretty quiet. So she's still like just. <laughs> yeah. Back to sleep, sort of thing. When you get up. Okay, uh, and uh, I sort of look at her and I'm just like, oh my god, she's fast asleep. I'm like, Zoe, can you hear me, Zoe? <laughs> Zoe, yeah. can, no, can you wake up, please? I don't want to. I don't want to shout at you. What? Oh, what time is it? Uh, oh, it's, it's so I, I don't know. It's really early. The this... sun is oh so bright. Oh my gosh, I can't see no, keep, it, my eyes. keep it keep them close. Bloody just Nora. just talk to me. Yes, okay. Oh, crazy, crazy. Um, hey, hey. Do you remember you? what yes. happened last night? There was lots of drinking. There was Lady of Pain. There was oh, Lady God, of Pain. Yeah. Am I, are we in a maze? Are we in a maze? No, 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 oh, no. Okay. no. Good. Okay, good. I, I think we're in the temple. Okay. Not where we're supposed to go. Didn't um, we go change our names for some stupid reason? Yeah. I think yeah. I remember going to those people that changed your name. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Your no, name is so no, cool. No, no. Your name is so cool. No. Oh, my name now is my name is so No. Cool. That's what I wanted oh. to talk to you about. One second. Give oh, me God. a second. I just got too excited. I feel a bit sick. Okay, I'm okay. Do we I'm got not any water? I'm not that up. Uh, no, she didn't. Yeah. She wasn't sick. She just was like little, little. No, like, it's moment. a warning. <laughs> it's a warning shot. <laughs> you got water. You, you uh, druid. Probably. Where's the druid when you need them? I, I need don't water. Know. Good berries. Great restoration. Something. Please. Um, I think I got some water though. Okay. Yeah. There's I'll, some like, water. There's a water. The there's a little water in the jug. And you've got like a a pitcher, a, a sort of like clay pitcher, clay glass. It's all very, if you can imagine, monastic. So the walls are like um, stucco render, sort of rough rendered walls. Um, there's a stone floor, as I said. You'd have like a clay pitcher that's got little, n very minor detail on it. Not very much like uh, quality, like graphical stuff. And then there's like a, a, a steel bowl you assume is for mm. washing and a towel, basically. That's what you get in the room other than yeah. the bed. Yeah. I want a book. There's probably a couple of books. <laughs> the the yeah. Holy Shattered Bible. <laughs> the Holy Shattered... Well, it would definitely not be any religious <laughs> texts, I would imagine. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, yeah. Fine. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, what? Thank you. Okay, I stand up. And she sits up and she kind of, like, cups her head like this and just sips from it like this. So she just kind of goes like that and just like, oh, great. Okay, right. Okay, yes. It's a cool name, though. Really no, cool name. No, but this is the the point it's not it's yes not it a is cool name. i'm not. going to go by this name now my name now is no, carrot kisses right? that, that's what I, could you could you just go with carrie or something with carrie? Else? yeah okay. or something shortened that sounds normal okay i change I, I you know but it's a cool name though right i don't need to keep name but you should know it's cool name like you should be proud of cool <laughs> names names mean they mean they they are who you are, and it's about like who gave you that name. It's cool, right? Zoe, I would just I was given by random people who don't know me. I keep it and I like it because I own it. But I think Catechises is really cool. Why don't you tell well, people? Yeah, you. I thought I thought the same once. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I didn't really. Uh, I don't really go out much, so when I started meeting people, and uh, it turns out Carrot Kisses ain't no normal name. Yeah, but, yeah. So what, losers, like, laugh at you? That's because they go, oh, my name's Bill. Uh, stupid name Carrot Kisses. <laughs> uh. It's because they call Bill. 
It's called Bill. Boring. Sorry, anyone called Bill out there. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're one lateral away from being in lots of trouble there, Hamilton. I know. <laughs> But they are, they're they not even cool enough to call themselves William or something, you know? So. <laughs> Tell you what. Thank, thank you. You pulled it back. I got you. <laughs> you go by Carrot Kisses. Yeah. I'll go by Carrie. Okay. And we don't tell anyone about this name swapping business. Okay. You just Ooh. say that's your name now. Okay. Say okay. you changed your own name. I just changed my name to Carrot Kisses because yeah. I thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we use some sort of fantasy name generator or something like that to make a name <laughs> yeah maybe yeah. i don't know what that is <laughs> i'm gonna nod and smile because i'm too tired to argue okay oh <laughs> yep no okay cool yes give me the druid let's find the druid i okay. want to find druid i think he will fix Gigi! us oh that's way too loud <laughs> oh. yeah it's, it, it was too loud for me as well don't know why i did it <laughs> gg cut to you you're in the next door room <laughs> I feel in... like Gigi absolutely has just not slept after that. Yeah, like, Gigi freaking like out. Overnight encounter, yeah. He just looks awful. Like, worse than, worse than Gith usually. Look, that's pretty bad. Pretty gaunt looking Gith, even. Yeah. 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 Right, me. Okay. So, Gigi, you hear, you hear uh, Gigi, your name called from the next room. <sighs> yeah. Hello? So, oh, Gigi, you're in a slightly fancier room, by the way. You have oh, your course, own. Yeah. You have a bigger room because you're a factor. You're on a corner suite because it's corner company suite. expenses wow. now. Yeah, he's working exactly. for it's my idea, say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, because you're a fact, a fact, uh, uh, a faction, not a factol, a factor. Sorry, that's the term. A factor. You're a factor. You have factols are a different thing. right? Factols are the head. The one yeah. head person. Factor is like you're you're a you've been a seasoned <laughs> member for a while and you've mm -hmm. been given. Your own sort of uh, corner office, so you get like a you've got a room and you've got a little study area and you have a little uh, like a, a showering bath area, sort of like a hammam sort of thing. Um, and so you've got like sort of three sort of main rooms. So this study room is like a receiving room, which is near the front door, and then it kind of goes through like an open like minaret style archway, if you know what I mean, like a pointed mm -hmm. arch that then goes into like a separate room which has a little curtain that then goes to a further room which is your sort of bathroom area, if you know what I mean. So that's what you've you've got, but you were, uh, I imagine you're in your study room, in your front room, sort of pacing or something like that then, and you can hear them from, from there through like a wooden door. Come, come on, come in. Hi, uh, I think Zoe needs your help. She's like, hello, good Gigi. You can do magic to fix this, right? Okay, because I need to like, I don't, oh my gosh. You got the bathroom in there? You got a bathroom in there? I'm going, I'm going, just going to fire. Uh, just runs, yeah. th <laughs> okay. he runs through and he just quickly, but no. Then, then, yeah, I won't give you noises. <laughs> she then like five Thank seconds you, later, yeah. yeah, five seconds later, she comes back and she's like, well, a couple minutes later, goes, okay, 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 okay. Quickly, before this happens again, I don't like this at all. I like the ability to have the drink and then get over it quickly. Yes? Mm. You fix, please? Uh, as as it been a little while, then? What? Oh, Did you it? know, like, I imagine you weren't exactly having many nights out in the Abyssal Plane, No, right? no. I mean, I had some things that probably made me feel really weird, but not the drinking. No, no, definitely not. Mm. Okay. Um. So. So. Sorry. Sorry. What. Are, what am I actually being expected to help with here? Have you got like uh, restoration, something like healing magic. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want I, to. I. I have. I have cure wounds. I don't. Okay. Know. Does cure wounds work on a hangover? You could also <laughs> like. You could also offer there are people that that could you could call upon who could probably just deal with it. Like um, you're high enough up that you could be like. Yeah, you know, cool on. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But yeah. but GG, I'm like, I think everyone else in this party respects other people's time. Yes. So um, that's fine. So, um, can can I try to assess how bad? Like, is yeah. she? She's just got a hangover. Genuinely hang suffering, or is no. she just being a bit of a baby? Yeah, She's okay. being a bit of a baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the best recipe for this is fresh air and some lovely um, fry up. <gasps> right. Food. Uh -huh. Food is yes. good. Yeah. Like there's that... a canteen that way. Why don't we go and get the others? Because I don't like not knowing where Frankie is for more than about <laughs> six hours. 
Me too. Oh, bloody hell. Yes, yeah, she went to go commandeer a boat <laughs> that did not. She, she, she did what? She went to go commandeer a boat in a place where, where there is literally like yeah. four boats. <laughs> I mean, where, like, where did she think she was going to go? The portals are broken. I, I think she was thinking she'd go on sticks or something. I don't know. She was talking about her day. She got all heavy about, oh, I sail the seas. Oh, people fear me. Some bullshit. And then she'd run off and go, I go show people how to run a ship and. That's where she went, I think. Probably in jail. <laughs> I'm going to assume. It's genuinely like a miracle we've all known each other for this long and she hasn't killed any of us. I can imagine. But, yeah. All right, let's 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 go and find her. Let's go and find Hummel. Do, do you know what happened to Hummel oh, last Hummel's night? Hummel's in the other room. He's is fine. He... Oh, Hummel. Is, yes. I don't is know he, is he, he fine or is he like fine for what's happened to him now? He, he looks fan now mm -hmm. i don't know about in general but okay. right now i think he's fine i don't know i didn't get a good look because everything is real bright mm. yes it's very bright in here uh oh you know what i could do with this some like sunglasses or something <laughs> or some shades oh, yeah. like effects oh did anyone Maybe steal I any could... from a Beholder disco? I don't remember if anyone did, did they? No, oh, can we wreck on that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would have been so useful. Um, I could try and put something together, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to okay. you. I'll just do this. Okay. I don't know what how good a job I'd do. <laughs> it's fine. I'm going to just cover our eyes. Let's go to. Um, yeah. Let's go to food place. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to find Frankie first, if that's okay. Oh, uh, you know what we should do? We should like. Go really quiet to Hummel's door, okay? Yeah, and take a bottle of bucket of water, okay? And you, we kick you... down the door and we pour a bucket of water on his face. That would be funny, no? I would really like you, to see his face. You, do you want to? You want to prank someone who, um, who pretty much like single? Like I know we were there, but pretty much single-handedly fought a demon lord. Yeah. Yes. You want you want to prank this person unexpectedly? Yes. Bring him back to ground. You know, he right now big, I'm mighty powerful okay. person. Bugger off you. I'm fine with that <laughs> if you take point on it. Yes. Okay. All right. And let me take some more water. And she just steals the water from your table, the pitcher, and just goes like that and just drinks it all in one go. Uh oh. Yep. Okay. We need another one of that. I go get. There's water in your. Uh, she just goes and gets water from the bathroom, brings it back in the in the jug. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Shh. Sneaky snail. Caddy. Shush. I'll okay. Go, I'll go at the back. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I really want to see. Okay, yeah, come on. Okay. Get in position by door and then we throw <coughs> the door sneaky so uh, you don't have to do stealth. Okay, so. All right. I'll go, I'll go up to the door. I'll roll stealth. Uh, see how good she is. So you go outside. It's literally like either side of your room of your main room is like in the corner you had like frank uh you know you have like four rooms i'm just gonna say that were either side of them mm -hmm. that you've got um and then uh so uh zoe rolls a two <laughs> <laughs> so zoe goes okay and, I, and she's still you realize that she's actually probably still a bit drunk <laughs> from the night before like you know we just still got it in your system and she's like sloshing the water about she goes to the door and just kind of like falls on the door oh whoops oh Helmut, wake up and pours the <laughs> and pours the tries to slosh the water all over you uh whilst you go in but you kind of hear them coming so i'll give you an advantage an ability to make a deck save if you so wish to like jump out of bed basically has anybody you actually did, did you actually come and check to see if Hamel was in the room <clears throat> i'm assuming you did no but i assumed you I were i mean if we were all in the same room i just kind of assume Oh, yeah, you're in a different room. You're in a different, different room. Oh, we're in different room. Yeah, different room. Oh, ah, I uh, that. In that case, can I say that Hummel's not there? <laughs> you think he's got... Okay, you can. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. He's not there. Uh, like like oh. to imagine Zoe's just throwing a bucket of water she on goes empty like, bed. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Yes. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <sighs> not again. You and realize... It... In, in Hummel's room, there's like... Um, so there's like a space there's also like a bunch of blankets on the floor which have been left completely as they as if no one's touched them they're just folded sure. and then there's the bed which has clearly been slept in so you assume that this was the sleeping arrangement was there's a bed for each person and sort of like that's how it's been like but the, what there's only one bed there's only two rooms so each person's been given like a shared room sort of thing and so and then, uh, you assume so Frankie, and yeah, you would have known this, G uh, Gigi. So you're like, oh, Frankie's not here. 
sort of thing in the room. Yeah. I, like, and then like you hear, I'm assuming it's probably quite late morning. You've all woke up with hangovers. So it's probably quite late as well. You hear like a. Oh my gosh, what on earth is the god awfulness I'm hearing right now? I've not heard I'm something. Gonna murder you, that turn, man. you turn around and, and Hummel walks in and he's wearing like a straw hat with like a bit of wheat sticking out of his mouth as he's whistling and he's he's wearing dungarees, like like denim dungarees. You've and got like... very smart clothes on when you woke up, remember? I did. Yeah. And he's got You've a flannel, okay. flannel shirt on, all like rolled up, and he's carrying a, a a bucket and he's wearing like welly boots and he's all like covered in mud and he's coming in like it's like, ah, good morning. <laughs> what on earth is you wrong with you face? What? Ah. Well, early bird catches the worm. I've just been out doing a bit of uh, farming work, looking after the cows. How are you not cows? Dead? I brought some fresh milk. Oh my straight, God. straight from the udder. I don't no, no okay I got by so he runs oh. runs back into uh into Gigi's room again. <laughs> She's um, I had this oh. like epiphany last night, you know, I was thinking back how everything has happened and when 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 I was with Asmodius, I had this moment of clarity that everything I've done has all been a trick by him or someone and I said to him I, I didn't want any I just wanted to live I was just, going to be a farmer i'm just going to live my life like my dad so last night i went out and, and i've uh i'm now like in charge of the cheese and dairy farms um so i thought well i better make a good impression on my employees so i got up nice and early this morning i was just being down there mucking in with the lads getting to know everyone i'm gonna uh, stay here and uh and I be a farmer i you didn't don't know have if this any is more worse surprises than you yeah i don't know if this is worse than you like before you seem very happy. Oh, you know, a nice hard day's work, you know, proper bring it's good for the soul. Frankie you know. Yeah, or, or that that one that which is left anyway, right? Have, have you seen Frankie anywhere? So as you say that, as you say that you hear Right, you okay, yeah, come on Frankie, get on in, come on, there's gonna be food, I promise you. Come on. Oh, will you please just Stop your infernal whinge and get me a Bloody Mary. Bloody, I don't even know what that is. That doesn't sound good. You want, uh, what is that? Vodka, tomato juice and spice. Okay, I'm sure I can sort that. Gee, oh. gee, has anyone, and you just, this is out in like, so you're in this sort of like cloistered area and then like through in yeah. the center area, you can hear this voice and you go, you hear some, uh, Brian go, hey, do you know where you can find uh, Guillermo, Gigi, yeah, Factor, Gigi, you know where he is. Brian, Brian, oh. we're in here. Oh, cause, so, don't worry, you carry oh, on God. with your business. Yes, thank you. Um, I need to stop shouting, that was real loud. You hear Zoe come back going, oh my gosh, it's the stupid face back as well. Okay, great. And uh, he goes, oh, Frankie, they're over here. I'm sure we can get you something. I'm sure we can sort you out. Gigi, we got a, 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 a drinks menu sorted. Have you got food, something for these four phone folks? I could probably cast Greater Restoration, but I really don't want to, if you know what I mean, after. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, New lease on life yeah. now. <laughs> a bit of hard You're, work. You are in it all out for far me. too good a mood, uh, Brian. Well, I realised I realised that I've got... I've, I better bring on a good outlook or else, or else I'm going to completely fall apart. So I'm deciding that I'm just going to take the mick out of you and that will make me feel better. <laughs> no, I, I, de I definitely prefer, like, anxious Brian. No, there's no, too much, there is too much one. positivity in this room at the moment. <laughs> yes, but Brian, wasn't wasn't the Lady of Pain going to uh, I'm going to kill like, you and you, no, let, your hey. skin? Okay, Frankie, 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 Frankie. Triggering me Can right now. Can we just not do Frank this? Please? <laughs> I'm trying to maintain a positive mental attitude. I will hit you in the face. <laughs> Can you just please try and concentrate on getting me a Bloody Mary? Okay, Gigi, well, I don't know about a Bloody Mary. Go. You were saying white <laughs> Russian, I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got the joke. I, I got the joke. I, 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 I do think it's quite funny how Chris has now canonized that Mary the First like exists in this. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that's what no, because it was. It's a famous story. Uh, yeah, Bloody Mary, named after that um, that rose that grows in the fields outside of Waterdeep, on which someone spilt their vodka and their tomato juice. And right. and picked up the rose and smelt it and smelt lovely and therefore thought, hmm, this would be nice. And they called it a Bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Canon. I made that yes. up. I don't Ca- know. Canon. Yeah. <laughs> Canon. Yeah. Now. Yep. So, shall we? Shall list. we go and get something to eat and yes, yes. get out of? Please. Technically, I don't need fight. anything to eat, but it's okay. Let's go. I will watch over you <laughs> as you eat. So you don't need anything to eat, but do you think you'd like enjoy it if you tried something? I can eat. Oh, I can. Yeah. I don't. I just don't. I don't. I, don't, I like. I can sustain myself through just, just yeah. energy. Is it? The, I mean? Is it what happens after you eat? Is that the problem? No, it's not like vampires or anything like that. I don't like go crazy or anything. No, I, I meant. Eat. I meant like you know because if you eat, then like. Is it because of the the pooing? Is that the problem? <laughs> All right, okay, Hummel. You're way too. You're in your you're in your farmer mode right now, aren't you? You're just getting down in the muck. Let's just <laughs> let's just not come. Let's. Oh, oh yeah, Zoe yeah, then goes. Brian. Okay, I've gone again. All right, then she just runs <laughs> off again. Can we just stop this now, please? <laughs> okay, let's go eat. Let's go eat. Oh okay. yeah, after a long, long, hard day's work, I could certainly do with some bacon. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yes. Um, where's the food hall? I don't. I've not been here. We're not, I don't really come around here very often. GG. It's not really kind of a cool yeah, place I for can... us Dabu to hang out, if you know what I mean. So I'm sorry. I I can see why, given attitudes to portals. Hmm. Yes. Also, um, Frankie, you would have noticed this whilst you were out and about. There are many people in the streets. <laughs> there are many, many people in the streets and they're not happy about something. <laughs> Just to clarify, you've kind of noticed this. You've kind of picked it up very peripherally. <laughs> but um, there's a lot of activity and you start to all realise that actually there's, there's not a lot of people in in your area right now. There was a couple in the thing, but there seems to be like an activity more other side of the temple and outside. And mm. uh, yeah, Brian's like, yeah, yeah, well, it's all kicking off. So, um, you know, yes, it, it, about... reminds me, it reminds me back in Luskan. Uh, yes, it was, uh, it, was, it was quite quite boisterous out there. And uh, yes, it'd be good to get back out and maybe we can uh, earn, earn a few gold, shaking a few of the punters down. <laughs> no, no, uh... no, Frankie, 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 Frankie. You're forgetting we've got more important things to do. He's milking cows, which you would have noticed when you're milking cows. You're just in the farmstead. I'm going to say there was a, there's a farmstead uh, to this temple. There's like a little area that you could like farm-ish or you went to down to some farms and you've noticed as well Hummel there's a bit of kerfuffle but you're in a bit of a bliss blissful ignorance sort of mode so maybe you just sort of just didn't really get involved in it or you saw it however you take it but there's lots of people in the street kind of having meetings and quorums about like what's going on with the temples and that you're hitting the, the portals and you're hearing like there's town criers going around ding ling ling news is no portals happening in sigil the chant is this sort of thing yeah and that's it. I guess that's the end of our plan not to tell people about the plurals. Hmm. I think it would be a good idea, everyone, and looking particularly at Frankie, if people didn't know that we maybe knew about the portals a oh, little bit ahead of time. Um, is, would that be a problem? Right, that's that's fine, that's fine. Not not no no no. I'm I'm sure they won't say it's... anything. It's not a, no, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, Frankie, what yeah. did you do? <clears throat> well, there was there was these three dwarfs in the uh, in the prison cell with me, and I, I I may have told them I I might be able to smuggle them out for for for, for why five hundred gold. Well, yeah, they, they paid half up front, so you know I thought well, well I'm not going to say no to that. Am I am, and I'm sure we'll come up with something that will help them out. And if not, I'm good at disguises. <laughs> uh. So, all the portals in Sigil are broken, well, leaving yeah. Yeah. the only way of us getting out. Gigi's axe over here, and you thought, hey, I can show this mighty powerful axe to these random strangers because I can make a quick buck. Is that what you thought? Carrie gets it. Carrie understands. Um, okay, right, 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 right. That axe is very powerful, very important. I know. The fact that the Lady of Pain has let you keep it is very I know. special. I I know there is a reason that I am hanging on to it for the there foreseeable is. future, okay? I think that's I trust that you as a member of a faction, someone with a little bit more you know yes, you were very powerful, Frankie. I'm very aware. You are a very important person, but I just don't think you're in the right headspace right now to be handling the max of this description, okay? <laughs> that's yeah. Okay. I, I, it's it's fine. I, I I gave them Gigi's name and uh, said, uh, you know, we'll give you ten percent of the cut, Gigi. It's it's uh, perfect deal. Oh bugger! 
So you've told some random people about the axe. Yes, it was Mazard, Zelborg, and uh, Fayesh. Yes, they're, 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 I've told them come to the temple, and uh, yeah, Gigi will sort them out. And yes, that's, uh, that's going to come back. <laughs> probably not the worst thing in the world, just because um, crazy people come to the temple doors all day, yeah. and there's enough going on at the moment that'll probably get lost in the shuffle, but... Uh... God, I hope so. Well, again, yeah. uh, if if they don't, that's fine. Like, I've got like, they gave me half the gold up front. So, if we can hide away from them, then you know we, we have five hundred gold, and uh, yeah, I okay. have five hundred gold. <laughs> All right. So, sorry, I or we? Uh, um, we, of course, of course. Just kind of slugs away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, oh dear <laughs> oh no I was having such a good morning I thought it was going well well I'm now going back and you, oh, no. at least you convinced yourself you were having a good morning I yeah? did yeah I did for oh, a moment it's a great morning the um, sun or whatever it is up there is shining yeah. I wish it would <clears throat> And yeah, just stuffing him out. Oh, okay, Lovely. right. You've been talking a long time. I think we said we we're going to get food. Can we go get some food, Can please? Please, please get food. Please, please, like this. And um, yeah, Gigi, you know where you are. So you're in, um, <clears throat> you're in the uh, old temple wing. Yeah, at the moment, that's where I'm putting you. Uh, I can, I can share. I will try and put a map in of, the background. Um, of What's the temple called, Hamilton? If you want to look dramatically into the camera for a, well, you can tell. Why don't you thunder. tell? Why don't you tell people what it is? What is it? The shattered, temple. the shattered temple. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah, it's um, but you're in the old temple wing, and uh, yep. you're in, which is like, I, I will, I, as I said, I'll put a map up. So you're in the old temple wing. I'm reorganizing the cells to be a bit more like actual quarters and stuff like that. So sure. I'm, re I'm just gonna, okay. I'm. I'm flavouring it a bit more than what it is because it's a very simple architectural diagram. Uh, yeah, so you're there. <laughs> sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry Hamilton. What's your day job? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? Anyway, so <laughs> whatever could it be? Whatever could it be? So um, I can interpret it. I'm a, I I am architect. I can change what I like. <laughs> so um, uh, yeah, I'm not power hungry, right? Like, so remind that. So you're in the scriptorium <laughs> side of that old temple wing, as I said, uh, yeah. and so. And that's and so you come sort of I'm gonna say there's a little corridor that takes you down to the script scriptorium area, which is basically an office where people like make notes and and keep uh, records of of all the sort of goings on of the of the temple. Um, additionally, it's sort of uh, also where you might have like a quorum or something like that as a secondary sort of room, like smaller meeting room. Whilst main things would be on any of the terraces or or around the the Boisverdurus, Boisverdurus, which is this big uh, magical tree uh, that sits in the centre of the old temple yes. and uh, creates... Why didn't you say so? Once and Carrie gets, feels a bit better. Why? Yeah. Gotta go see the tree. You wanna go see the tree? <laughs> okay, so, but you make your way out and you can take yourself to the refectory, which is just in the second other side of the old temple wing. So you sort of walk along a sort of colonnaded uh, court, like cloister that takes you down and crosses over to the refectory and you can walk in there. And there's a uh, there's little ante room and inside there's tables and there's sort of like a, a kitchen at the back and you can sort of, uh, with like, there's a big buffet. I'm gonna say there's a buffet table of food at the top with some breakfast, you know, eggs and breakfast chicken. I don't know, meats. <laughs> yeah. uh, you had I so mean, many breakfast meats chicken, you could chosen chicken, and you went with chicken. chicken. Okay, chicken and waffles is a great breakfast. Yeah, yeah I, okay, there's some I know, waffles. I know I would be betraying us as the British half of the show if I didn't praise a fry up. Yes. But chicken and waffles is yeah, really okay, fucking yeah. I had uh, chicken and waffles for dinner a couple of weeks back. Did There's you? a local oh. takeout place that does like Jamaican and the kind of Caribbean mm. American type food. Yeah. And I ordered nice. like waffles and chicken. It was like, rah. It was yeah. Awesome. You can get like I guess it's gonna ah oh, yes bring some like it's like um you can get uh like a you know Berber eggs. You've ever had Berber eggs? Mm. So it's like oh, yeah. yeah like spicy tomato fried with egg in it sort of thing you can get omelets you can get some patisserie you can get some like uh rice in a bowl you can get noodles in like a, a cold broth sort of thing lots of like different all different like various like flavors and uh foods and some that's just like weird beetles and some things from other planes i can imagine but yeah you're sort of a good host and selection. Lots of fruits as well. Yeah. 
and Frank Frankie's going to get some really sort of underdone, slippery, Oof. slimy, sunny side up fried eggs. Yeah. And just oh. Sit down next to next to Zoe, <laughs> and just spooning them off. <laughs> So he just doesn't. I, I, what I is also... wrong with you, Frank? You are sick. You are actually broken in brain. I thought I was broken in brain before. You are an evil human being. Come on, come on, somewhere he can and just lay it. No, up. no, I'm going to eat potato and rice only. It is what I know is good for you. Okay. Ah, I, I like on, to imagine Frankie occasionally eats with her hands just to really upset people. Like a handful of baked beans. Oh, oh, yeah. She's oh. used to living on a on a on a ship. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, walking exactly. around, just grab what you can, and yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Harry has the biggest bowl of porridge imaginable. Oh yeah, okay, it's yeah. Just very there's, slowly, like there is that, treacle. Like. There's everything you can put on it. Some blueberries. Oh no, it's plain porridge. Plain, plain porridge. porridge. See, yes, <laughs> see, Carrie, understand. You eat the simplest food. Okay, gruel is good when you like mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Less likely to come back up. Yeah, exactly. Slap. No acidic G things. <laughs> Gigi is also eating something like vegetarian. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, avocado toast. Avocado of course toast. He is. He's, yeah. he's, a, he's a damn millennial. He's such a hipster. <laughs> Gigi hipster. is such a hipster. <laughs> right? What does Hummel eat? Hummel's already, has he already ate probably? Or are you eating, you're eating yeah. lunch? Yeah, now, yeah he'll, he's having lunch, but he's like, where's well, his dinner? He's been up since dawn. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's <laughs> probably, it's about, it's about 11, 12. I'd say yeah. sort of time. He's, he's put in a good six hours of work. Yeah, he's, 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 he's got a nice bottle of like blue milk to, to drink. Blue milk. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, and he's, Yeah, he'll he'll have like some bacon and some eggs and yeah. stuff like that. Massive pile. And he's just eating some potatoes. Love it. Know. Love it. Love and it. He's just munching away, drinking his milk that no one wants. You, you realise that you, there's you, yeah, you're the only ones in here completely, and none of this food has been t touched at all since you know. That's so you're like, yeah, that is odd. So you're it's just there. Magic. It's okay. Well, it keeps warm. It's on like yeah. heater plates. You know, it's got like little magic, little magic. Um, like what it's got like a heated table maybe that steams up some like hot <laughs> air into the underside of the plates and it's kind of like under a little or, furnace table yeah. like or everything's memory. just got little mini like runes of heat metal yeah exactly it. yeah <laughs> maybe yeah, that's it. just yeah something like that yeah let's go with that it's either steampunky or it's magic you could choose <laughs> whichever <laughs> one I, I yeah let's yeah. go let's go with that little little runic symbols that like meet heat metal and um yeah and you kind of sit down and you eat your meal and it's as i said it's pretty quiet in there and just zoe's very quiet just keeps it, and brian just sort of sits there and just goes oh all right um if anyone really needs we need to get you waking up does should i just give you all a bit of a boost does everyone want a bit of boost i think you've suffered enough yeah why are you say no. threatening slash promising to he goes i can give you all a bit of great restoration now i'm here i'm pretty much got I can get my spells sort my spell slots. I can get I can replenish my spell energy quite regularly now I'm here in Sigil. So I can probably just dump a few little Come on, come here, Zoe, go on and he goes like puts little like and she goes, Oh great, thank God. Oh oh Okay. Should we go drinking again? I don't, I don't. <laughs> but I could have some what? No, let's not have some wine actually. I'm happy now. Oh, but I might go get some bacon and some eggs. Okay. Frankie, don't, I don't recommend do the eggs. Frankie. Yes, don't do it to Frankie. <laughs> don't give her a thing. Is <laughs> anyone else? Anyone else? I can do this to all of you. I've got enough. Do you want it? Yes, please. Yes, Gary, here you go. There you go. And uh, and uh, Frankie, Frankie, come on. Oh well, yes, I will. We might as well get the, the old uh, hair of the uh, of the direwolf um, out of a, out my system. <laughs> there you go. Right, <laughs> he clicks his fingers again, and you, all of you, uh, Gigi, you doing you doing good? Yep. No, jeez, exhausted. Yeah, let's get he rid of that exhaustion. Slapped, let's get rid of that exhaustion. <laughs> so, get rid of that. There you are, you're all good. And Hummel, you look fine. So, I'm yeah, just going to leave you to it. It's that yeah. stout halfling blood of mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. That <clears throat> or the ale that you drink every night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stout or the stout? <laughs> yeah. Put them. Oh, right. But c my white. Yeah. <laughs> can, can we take advantage away from the DM? <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> you can all gain advantage from having to deal with it, I guess. Um, so, I guess there's lots to do today. Now you're all feeling better and you've had some food. You up well, for it? I just yeah. need to go and muck out some stables and then I'm pretty, pretty much done for the day. 
I will. Okay. Are you saying now you're just giving up and becoming a farmer now? Is that your plan now, Hummel? Well, you know what? It seems like a good life, really. Nice, you know, hard work, you know, but it's okay. rewarding. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you that there's, there's, there's only like one farm and, and they're going to run out of meat very soon because there's no access to Arborea or anything like that. So yeah. we've got the River Styx is now literally the only way in and out of here. So um, there's... it seems like we're set. Frankie can start up a, a, a mercantile uh, <laughs> business on the river, exporting yes. and importing. And uh, Carrie, I, I could use some extra help on, on the fields, dragging the plow. And Excuse <laughs> you. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's a microaggression. <laughs> well, I well, mean, sure. I'll pay you in all the milk you like. All right. Okay. 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 I feel this okay, is descending I, I, again. I think Matthias feel... has another appointment with your face if you're not careful. <laughs> I, Gigi, I... you can be our, uh, you know, bless our druid. You can help bless the uh, crops and the cows. A good harvest. You know, we can. Yeah, okay. I, I make a point of trying not to talk to farm animals because I'm totally some of the stuff they say. She's right here. That's not very nice. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> I was about um, to, I, I was joking. gonna be, take some sympathy on you, and I was like, okay, Hummel's been through a lot. Maybe maybe Hummel's just just you know a bit tired and a bit you know not thinking things through and deflecting stuff right now. But no, no, Hummel, what the actual fuck? What the actual uh, fuck? We I, have to. We have to do stuff we have to fix this shit that you started you're uh, not being look, a farmer what the hell i i understand you might want some time off but um i don't know I, i'll just give this to you first and then you can maybe decide if this is what you want to do or not and uh she's reached inside his coat and a hand almost recorder back to him so without <laughs> even thinking he's like oh what's this and he, he takes it off of you and he's like and the moment he touches it it's like electrocutes him and a black energy comes out of it and starts going up his arm and he his eyes go black and he passes out. <clears throat> oh, well, I wish someone had done that to him sooner. What <laughs> did you just do? Uh, where did you get that, Gigi? Is he it's, right? it's, his, it's his recorder. Why yeah, did, how did you, you have it? it? How did you have it? Oh, um... I had this thing where I thought it was a dream, and it turns out it probably wasn't a dream, where I was talking to someone whose name I am definitely not saying in a... in Consecrated Ground, and, um... Uh -huh. And they yeah, gave me the recorder, so I thought I'd give it back to... Hummel, because Brian it's goes, his. Oh, crap. And, um, it goes and checks. And I'm not right. lugging that shit around with me all the time. Between this and the act, I have far too much, like fiendish stuff going on already. <laughs> I'm a very mellow person, okay? This is not my bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I gathered. I think he's all right. He seems to just be passed out. Um, I think he's all right. I don't know what's going on. Why is it always the bards as well? I don't know. I think we, we've bards. been around for a really long time. It's only the bards where we've gone through multiple. <laughs> They just keep, I mean, they're very, they're very, you know, go out there. They kind of jump into battle, don't they? They just kind of end up yeah. just like, yeah, exploding, basically. We'll get I'm him blown up. Check. Yeah. Hummel's okay. Yeah, I think he's, yeah, I think he's Like, around. kneel down and just like shake him a bit and be like, Hummel! Maybe slap right. his face a little bit like, wake up, wake up! Hold on, let me just roll a luck tie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll leave this to you, Hummer. I'm going to leave this all up to you. You can do this, so, Luke. You do what you want to do. I'm up for that. Uh, as as you slap him, story, his yeah. eyes just open up and his pupils are huge and then they kind of shrink down and narrow into the light of the room. And as he does so, his face kind of becomes a bit more paler than normal and his hair starts just... His blonde, luscious blonde locks just start turning black. Emo boy. And he suddenly got <laughs> eyeliner on. <laughs> and, and, hey, don't miss the eyeliner. The, 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 um, the transformation you've described is just um, Tobey Maguire and Spider-Man 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden... His hair's going the other way. Uh, it's yeah. just, it's evil uh, super fighter man, <clears throat> evil Superman. It's all those sort of things, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> What did you do? Like, uh, and he's just like, he's looking around, like, and he kind of gets up and he's like, 
hearing whispers. Yeah, I was going to say, you hear a <laughs> French Canadian voice in your mind going, you can't get all. I've got to get the voice back. Oh, it's hard to do, isn't it? It's got to get the. Oh, yeah. Hello, Hummel. How you doing? And he just spins round. It's like, what? It's like, Hummel. <laughs> you just hear a. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> someone broke the bard. I think the bard was broken a long time ago, but what the fu- what the hell is this? Um, I don't know. To be honest, I didn't even need the recorder. I just thought it'd be for dramatic effect. I've always been here since you left. What did... Get out of my head! I'm sorry, it's not as easy as that. Out, oh. out of your head, we are, we're not in your head, you poor emo fool. <laughs> you, you just gave you your, your penny whistle back. I, 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 who, who were you talking to? Gigi, what, who gave you that? He knows who gave it to him. Uh, not... I think you know. Gigi, you hear a... Thank you. <laughs> That's... I, And he's just laughing. <laughs> well, uh... Gigi, I never thought I'd say this to you, but maybe you need to think some things through before you do them. Whose fault is all of this, Carrie? Whose fault? Whose fault? What? It's not mine. And his hands start sizzling with purplish black oh, whoa, whoa, energy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Oh, what have you I, I, done, I, I, Gigi? I, I know the answer to this one. I know this one. It's it. It was you, Hummel. You put the wishing I, spell on. on the mountaintop. <laughs> Frankie, can you not keep your mouth shut for one second? Sorry, sorry. Just starts eating eggs uh, again. <laughs> you know you want to use it. Go on. Go on. And he's like, oh. And he's just like, oh. You can use it. And he does like it's like easy. It's gonna be so delicious, like, huh? You just use it, and it will be. It would be so tasteful. And it just shoots off this bolt of black warps energy up into the sky. <clears throat> See, that's powerful, you know? And that's power. You don't hear, none of you are hearing this, obviously, no. me. But... No, no. We're, we're, we're only, I'm assuming we're, we're hearing Hummel's half that's the conversation. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just yeah. Well, that was impressive. I'm telling you, when this is done, I am going to kill you. Now get out of my head. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Okay. Kisses. Uh... <laughs> he goes a little. Oh my god. <laughs> Kisses. <laughs> yeah. Ciao. Oh. Yeah. Oh, god, he Asmodeus is so creepy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh no, shit! Asmodeus is creepy. <laughs> but but, 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 but he's creepy. But he's never. not like threatening. He's just so like insidious. It's like very kind of unsettling rather That's than the being plan. like a. But he yeah. can play. He can play it how he needs to play it. I think. Yeah. That's kind of how I'm doing it. I feel that Hummel deserves a bit of. He's Power. given him. He's, yeah. <laughs> he just. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Hummel. Uh, when we're done with all this, you can. You know, you can go do as much killing as you like. But. Well, I think we got some things to do. Once you notice it, so this. Te- this, when you saw the temple, I give you a bit of a description of it when you went out. But you again, you're not really taking it because you're shielding yourself in the eyes. But it's already pretty crumbly. You know, it's a sh- it's a broken temple, and it's sort of it's a ruin. The yep. cell bits that you're in the old temple wings are in a better state than the main temple itself, which are more ruinous. But when you've smashed up this hole, you it's quite easily like it falls apart quite quickly, and you sort of put, make a big dent, and a bit of plaster falls down. And like you, you've made a hole in in the in the ceiling, and it's sort of like a barrel vaulted ceiling, you know, sort of like a little like a vault that goes up like that. And it's got a little like you can see old paint, you know, like a really bad like frescoes are still left, but like in pieces on the you know, they've come they've been chipped away and painted over over years. There's bits of like graffiti as well on on the walls. It's a bit like a you know some sort of emo bands photo shoot sort of space if we're going to go on that sort of thing perfect yeah and uh, so you fit right in now <laughs> and uh, you've made this hole and you hear someone sort of run run in from outside and you go uh they come in and they go um oh uh, oh fact fact uh guillermo uh sorry I, are you all right in here are you okay everything's um, fine it's yeah, totally fine there, there, there's nothing to worry about yeah. it's okay I do, thank I've, you for your, thank you for your diligence, though I, it is noted. Good. Um, I I think um noticing that you're here. Um, Terence, a factual Terence would would like to see you if you are back now. 
uh, if you have a moment. Um, yes, okay. Um, is, is just me acceptable? Uh, yes. I mean, you can bring your... He only said you... He said you... He said you had friends with you. I, he didn't say to... He yes. just said he'd like to see you. That could be plural. It could be singular. I'm actually quite... Uh, he's very... Mm, I don't know. You're just... Yeah. That's, it's, that's, that's a lesson as well to learn in future uh, dealings with... With tea. So... Uh, tea? Uh, right. Sure. I, and also don't call him that. Um, no. right, so okay. I'm I'm gonna go in and talk to him, and um, the rest of you can you wait outside because mm. it may be that he wants to talk to all of us. This fawn like uh, creature. I'm okay. Just... I'm okay with the buffet. Um, just 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 leave me here. Um, come back no. when you're done. No. So the uh, this it's a little it's a fawn like uh, creature that comes through. His name's Kalian, and you will know him uh, as a uh, you, you will know him as someone who. Um, is like a, he does like tours. He used to do tours of the temple uh, yeah. and stuff like that. And he's sort of like a key sort of like member of the of the fact of the of the faction. And is sort of um, he was healed by uh, he got magically healed when he gave up his god. He used to be a cleric and he gave up his god and was magically mm-hmm. healed from 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 that point. And uh, so he's sort of he's quite a famous character in yeah uh, Planescape. So he's, yeah, he- healed with the power of atheism. Yes, exactly. He was <laughs> healed with the power of atheism. Weirdly, I don't know how that quite works, but it that's the whole. But the Athar thing is that there's yeah. they believe there's a god beyond the gods. Sure. if you see what I mean. So yeah. like there's that sort of belief. So he's healed by the uh, the the yeah. It's, um... The power of agnos- agnosticism. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. His name is Ao, I think, isn't it? To so, say like the god that created the gods. That oh yeah, the no, world's Ao. Yeah, no, but it's not that they have a belief in a um, in the great unknown is what it's called. That's what they, oh, yeah. the Athar call it. So uh, they believe that there is something beyond a physical deity that we see. The deities that you see are just um, just very powerful yeah. mortals that have become immortal, not true gods, and they're just yeah. fake gods. So anyway, uh, the fake gods corrupted by power, and exactly things yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 So that's it. So, um, so anyway, that's who Kaylin. That was who it was. He goes, um, okay, uh, right. Um, I'm changing. I've got changing from a tiefling to a fawn because we'll have we've got because we'll, I've just I thought it was a fawn, <laughs> and now I've said it. I'm going to stick with that. So, uh, but yeah, he yeah. So he's like, yeah, okay. Um, all right. Well, you, you know where he, he's by the tree. Uh, there's yeah. quite a lot of people. We've kind of kept them out of the temple. We've got a lot of people are keeping people away from the temple because there's a lot of stuff going on in in the in in the town, uh, town city. Yeah. Um, there's, there's something weird he needs to show you. Uh, I don't, weird? I, yeah, something weird's happened. I'm uh, sometimes considered an expert in weird. Good, because <laughs> uh, we're gonna okay. need it. Yeah. Um, and he wants to talk to you specifically because I think you know a little bit about it. Anyway, I'll leave it to him. I'm talking too much. I'm gonna go. Um. I need to go run a couple more errands. I need to go into town and, and try and find someone. So um, I'm going to get Lucinda. She needs to come and help us a bit. So if you can just go talk to him and I'll, I'll be back. All right. Uh, do, do you need anything whilst I'm out? Milk? Um, You've got milk. Okay, that's good. <laughs> no, do you I, want I, the milk? I could, oh, yeah, I'd love some milk. Yeah. Please take it. Oh, thank you. Can I have some milk? Sure. Um, if, 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 you, um, if, you see, right. if you see three burly dwarfs, um, just... just... Don't punt in this direction. Are you Frankie? Yes, yes, you must yes. have heard of me. The fabulous Frankie flight. Yes. No, no there was three um, people at the, at the gate uh, that were asking for you. You've got some sort of axe that's going to take them to a magical dimension or something yes. like that. Yes. If 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 you can just um, oh just Frankie, is that this. is that your drunken drunken fantasy? It's again? it's amazing what people will say when they've had a few, isn't oh, it? Oh, I know. Yeah. If, if, yeah. if you could just point them to the other side of town, uh, that, that that'd be yeah. wonderful. Then perfect. You, you you haven't seen me. Yeah. Okay. They were very scary. Um, but fortunately, oh, man, you 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 look like a strapping something. I'm I'm sure you you you, you can handle yourself. It's fine. I, I think I've, I think they're starting to talk to Hobart, who's our librarian. So I think he's probably going to bore them to death before yeah. anything. So that's fine. So uh, it's, it's 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 a way of getting round so we don't pass. Oh pass no, that, you're fine. You won't go that way. They're on that's the other far good, terrace. That's okay. Good, yeah, good. That's fine. They're at the yeah. They're at the south terrace, which is down that way. And we're gonna you need to go into the tree in the middle of the thing. As I said, we've kept people out of the temple because. Yeah, I don't know why I'm whispering. Anyway, bye. Uh, I better go. And he just runs out and he goes off. The the, the, the milk. Okay. He's gone. he's taken the milk already. He took it very gingerly <laughs> from and he downed it and it, and then sort of went. 
Yeah. There's still so much milk. Why do you have so much milk, Carmel? <laughs> That was a, a lot of cows. It all, I'm gonna say, oh wait, can I say he <laughs> takes the milk and he goes, oh, it's sour. Sour. Yeah. I was gonna say that. Yeah, I was gonna say it. Sorry, I wreck on that, wreck on that. <laughs> yeah. like, What's wrong with your milk? Um, I'll go get some new milk, okay? And he runs out. That's it. Okay. You're left alone. Okay. Um, we're gonna go and talk to Terence now. Everyone, it is quite important to me, um, to be polite here, this is effectively my boss, so try to be less... I would say be yourselves, but don't do that. Um, I we, thought we, we were be friends, by. Gigi. We are, we are, but this is a professional environment for me. I'm sure there's people in your life you wouldn't want all of us to be like the way we are around as well, right? Can't say I've ever been in a professional environment. Sure. Yeah, okay. Um, the <laughs> other very, very, very important thing is that there'll be a big tree, a big magic tree, and there'll be some red fruit on it, which might be glowing. Do not pick it and do not eat it. Gigi, why did you say that? You've literally I mean, just... I, you I really want to pick it now. You can maybe do that if you feel like dying, but otherwise I would not recommend you doing that. And he and oh. Terence is likely to stop you anyway. Oh, but just as a heads up... <laughs> when have I ever do? let you down, Gigi? <laughs> uh, to be fair, I can't think of a time, but that's mostly because other people stop you first. Um... Anyway, can I have one study? Fine. You can you can ask, he'll probably say no, but that's oh. okay. Um there's an old story in one of these books about a, a magic tree and some people like picked and ate the fruit off it and um I don't know, it's it's one of the smaller like religions here, so uh just respect. Respect. Don't okay. eat the tree. It's fine. Respect. Because it's not ours, it's older. And we don't entirely understand it still, so what happens if you eat the fruit? Uh, I personally do not know that. I don't think Gigi does either. Um, you, about you, I, you, I think, you wouldn't even you dare. Nordius, I think you won't dare even try and pluck a fruit from the tree. It's very high up for a start, so you'd have to try and do that first. Yeah. And if you tried to, well, you could see what happens. You can see what yeah. happens. But you it's wouldn't... one of those things where, where Gigi, like, no one's even tried it. You know like... that this tree is used for rituals to absorb magical items of priestly... So if a cleric comes here and like def gives up their religion, they will give up yeah. magical items from their priesthood and they will be absorbed by the tree. Yeah, so... the, the, tree is, the tree has soaked up the power of It also has, of gods, a, has the ability so... to cast banishment at seventh level, so... I bet those yeah, apples taste that. good. Yeah, banishment I'll, I'll tastes good can... at seventh level, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> can, can I just say that you, you have just said to a, a pirate... Uh, acrobat and a thief. As and well nobody as a, has ever epic. climbed this tree. Nobody's ever taken anything from this tree. <laughs> I'm just, just, just putting and, out there. And also to a, a person who was like, Helm of forbidden knowledge. Yes, please. Oh, do not eat from tree of power. <laughs> I know. Yes, please. You also said to a scientist, "Oh, we don't really understand it." Yes, so exactly. There you go. <laughs> forbidden, the I, again, forbidden knowledge. I, I forbidden feel fruit. Like... What's the difference? I feel like it's accurate to what Gigi would actually say. You know, no, it's just true. totally not think about the consequences yeah. of it. So. Very true. Okay. Yes, it's true. Uh, you know that the factal does take a piece of fruit occasionally from the tree and carries it around with him as well. Yeah. Yeah. But he doesn't. But he, he's sort of earned it. <laughs> yeah, he's like the leader. He's been through enough yeah. To, yeah. to get to this point. So, yeah, okay. So, what, what do you do? Do you make your way? Do you make, do you make your way? Downtown, Absolutely. walking fast. Oh, yeah. Faces past, yeah. We'll follow Gigi. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so you make your way out, and so then you can sort of take it in a bit more now, this uh, this temple. Um, I'll mm -hmm. try and give you another another quick uh, image, which I'll put up there again. Where is it? Oh, it's not worked. Great. There you go. I've got it now. Uh, and it looks like it's basically a very ruined temple. It was clearly once quite a high temple of uh, which probably had some towers and it's got these sort of big arching uh columns that sort of arch into a central point and um 
but it's it's broken and ruined you and it's got these buttresses that come out of it it's got big uh large stone walls you know though even though it looks all um all broken and twisted but actually it's very much reinforced with magic and from this tree itself so it's kind of even though it's you could when you shoot what hummel shot out the sort of hit what i won't say the spell but the the, the spell that he used the emo, he, blast. emo blast <laughs> emo blast emo <laughs> he yeah. uh, it that obviously would affect it to a certain degree but um yeah you'd have to it, that's a, it i was kind of flavoring a bit more but it probably it it's not falling apart it's not going to fall on you even though it looks like things are about to fall over sort of thing uh, but you walk towards it and it's got this archway and it goes into sort of it's got pretty much no roofs in this main central area the sort of side vestibules where it says on the main map like records and stuff they have little little arch sort of um you know they are old uh what do you call them um arch- oh, what they called little altar areas you know little side altars and vestibules in that you'd have in a church whilst the main space has got a, has got no roof uh but in the center is this absolutely humongous uh tree which is um the most luscious looking tree that you could imagine it's just a proper big oak like big but like oversized and huge like uh, uh, trunk that grows up from a scent from inside like a little uh grassy muddy central circle in the middle and um it goes up to a huge canopy which is just lush with these these uh, fruits which look sort of like apples uh but very big and red and sort of but they look a bit more fleshy like maybe more like a like a a peach maybe potentially or like a plum Mm -hmm. i don't know sort of that sort of like texture um uh as if uh as if they're sort of yeah and they sort of glisten a little bit with like a like a dew drops on them and stuff like that they sort of look very inviting Mm -hmm. and very tasty Carrie's um, like got her goals down off her off of her, her face mm. and is like looking at it like maybe like flick something and there's like a little lens that comes in front. And she's just like, I can't see. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Yeah, yeah. Fr- Frankie's looking at the tree and looking back at Gigi and looking at the tree, looking back at Gigi and just you can see pest. You can see yeah. sweat beads of sweat forming on her brow. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, exactly. And then you you notice that uh, anyone who's got some sort of magical innate ability notices there is a an aura. You feel a magical that, aura. Emanating. That's all of us. Yeah. yeah, so all of you feel a magical <laughs> yeah. aura emanating from this tree, let alone its sort of like grandeur. And you get that sort of ah <laughs> feeling as you get closer to it. It's very much like, wow, it's sort of awe-inspiring. At the base of that, uh, at that tree is a is a human figure um he is uh um i'm trying to find, oh, i've lost it again so many tabs it's too many tabs too many people too many tabs uh yes um wearing sort of more like what salen was wearing uh the the young uh, uh fawn character was wearing sort of like a like a sort of grecian sort of clothing if you can imagine sort of like a ruffled sort of um fabric are wrapped around very much like your sort of cover of theros sort of uh grecian sort of like fawn like character and uh you and and sort of yeah like a little like rope ta- tie and similar with factual uh terence however he's more sort of robed and um he's wearing he's got like a like a little um headpiece that sort of has a little diamond in the middle and i'll try and get a little bit of artwork up and he's got like little feathered sort of headpiece with very low feathers not very like large but just like a couple of like the sort of shape and he sort of ties his hair back into like uh like a ponytail but it's sort of like spiked out it's kind of like spiked into a little ponytail uh he's got quite quite strong jaw and nose features and wears a sort of collarless shirt underneath this sort of heavy robe that's sort of hanging loosely a bit like a you know jedi but kind of light colored robe sort of like you know uh, what do you call them? Like poncho thing, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he's sort of there and he's sort of standing there and he's got uh, someone else uh, next to him who's just, a, 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 there's a female elf character that's talking talking with him and staring at the tree. And he's sort of like looking and, and kind of, yeah, and sort of like this and then and says, okay, and then they, they sends them away and he turns around to you and it's just him alone at the tree. And he goes, ah, oh, Gigi. 
Hello. Oh no, I was going to do a different voice for him. Oh wait, I was going to I was going to try and do a Yorkshire voice, but I don't know. I was just going to. Give, I thought that felt right. Um, what's that? Uh, no, I'm just going to stick with that. Hello, Gigi. How are you? How are you doing? You've been through the wars, it seems. Um, much change, Fertile. Thank you. Yes. Well, much much change, but uh, we are still here, and we are still uh, more or less in one piece. More, well, yes. Well, you made it. What a journey. I. <laughs> I, I feel we sent you on a on a mission, but I can't quite remember why. Um, anyway, but you're back. It's the main thing, and mm -hmm. everything is well with your journey. I'm sorry, I do forget why you left. Um, yes. Anyway, we have mm. issues here. So, so it would seem, yes. Mm. But you're well. You're well, though. Yes, given the um, given the circumstances, yes. Good, right. Sorry, I'm just a little bit. Since you've turned up, I'm feeling very confused. All of a sudden, it's, conf it's I'm trying to rack my brains, and this is something that doesn't happen to me very often. Anyway, let's. Um, anyway, yes, right. Sorry, let's go. Um, uh, sorry, introduce me to your, your friends. Hello, hello. These are my <coughs> acquaintances. We have here Carrie. Yes, Thank Carrie. You. I was, I was going to just nice just to meet you. Yeah. Hi. Um, Frankie. I was be, but when you when you do that, I, I would like to make a stealth check just to try and nip behind the back of this tree. Well, oh you, funny you should say that because. Um, <laughs> you too. <laughs> go on. You then. too. Go on. Yep. Just uh, as you. Okay, go on. Do what you're going to uh, do. Tell me what you're going to do. Okay, well, so pretty. Uh, pretty uh, Pretty much what, what what Frankie wants to do is I roll twenty five on stealth. Mm -hmm. So I just want as as GG is and Frankie, Did, I'm um... not there. I've disappeared from the back of the tree. I've cast minor illusion, and I'm walking out from the other side of the tree with what looks like one of the fruits oh. in my hand. Before you even try and stealth away, <laughs> well, before oh, you come even try on. and stealth away, yeah, no, I and like I it. Have, I'm not rolled a dice. <laughs> you can roll it. No, it's good. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Terence goes before you're about to when you're about to leave. You act like he's not looking at, it and he pulls out an apple, one of these fruits, and just goes and hands it to you as you're walking past him. Just whilst he's talking, he just hands it oh. out to you, and then the same to you, Hummel. If you try walking out, he just passes a second one over to you and just hands you one. They're delicious. Please have one. Yeah, Frank will just look, and yeah, it, it's it, there's, there's there's no fun in that. So Frankie's just gonna. He ruined Walk your fun, away. didn't he? Yeah. He's, he's, he's taking the sport away, yeah? Yeah. No, Sorry. so what I was going to do was cast Invisibility on Frankie. Oh, oh right. <clears throat> so, okay, so if you do that, so he passes it just he just passes one to Frankie. If, if any of you want to try it, I could tell. It happens quite often and no one else is here, so if you want one, I won't tell anyone. Um, anyway, look. What will happen if I eat it? Nothing, really. It's just a very delicious fruit. It, You know, the tree has magical powers and you really can't access them. Unless you want to join our faction, you know, I, I hear, I, have, I can I see... Have plenty of, you know, I have plenty I can of see literature you. I can read as we uh, journey. I can see you are struggling. Have you, I mean, you understand, don't you, that, you know, these gods of ours are just, you know, nothing, right? Yeah? Perhaps. Well, then, why don't you, you know, so then you're already halfway on the journey to, to true enlightenment, so why not? Why not? You've always got a place here. Thank you, I think. But, um, I truth mean, be we told, are... I feel as though I've stolen enough of the limelight the past couple of episodes, so... That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <Let's, laughs> I totally so understand. <laughs> Let somebody else have a go. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay, but he uh, waffles no, on. He gives you. He just sort of looks at you and just goes, "I see." Yeah. Well, I see you all as you could. We, they call us the Defiers and stuff. So I think you know, mm -hmm. you know, that's what they say about us. But it's all in the fight to stop these more powerful beings from just taking over our world and controlling us. Uh, f fact all, if I may, wh whether or not these people Sorry. have necessarily believed our um, <clears throat> our noble goal or not, they have given much um, blood, sweat, and tears in the pursuance of our objectives, unknowingly or not. They have fought to 
to rid the world of of those that would exploit others. Well, that's the, that's all we aim for. That's all we aim for. It's just perhaps, absolutely. Perhaps you have a, a pamphlet or something I could take to yeah, read later. I'll get Salem to leave one in your room. Anyway, um, look, there is something I need to show you, Gigi. You, as your with your history, your 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 background, you're the best placed probably for this. Um, so, oh, you have a. Gigi's gone a little bit pale at that. Yeah, <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> Um, so, sorry, what, sorry, what you said? No, and he goes, oh, um, hello, Dabu, friend, hello. Oh, friends. that's Brian. He's, hi, Brian hasn't come into the room. <laughs> He's staying outside. <laughs> you can, you can come in, you, you can come in, uh, and your tiefling friend as well. Yes, that you're with them, and they're both standing outside. It's so always still eating food. <laughs> She's like, I didn't, I didn't want to come in whilst I was still eating. It felt like a very sacred place. I was, um, I've just got, um, more bread. Just, I'll uh, give me a, she's just eating. Brian goes, um, I'm happy out here, actually. I'm fine. Thank you. I'll, I'll, um, I'll stay out here. Thank you. I'm not quite comfortable yet. Hello. It, it won't, you won't get killed. Don't worry. It's not, she's not going to mind if you come in. Just please. Come on, Brian. And, uh, all right. And he walk. He just like shuffles in. Come on, Zoe. Come on, me. Hold my hand. <laughs> and they kind of walk in. So anyway, um, yeah. Let's um, let's go um, let's go over here and see what's happening. Um, hmm. Follow me. And he leads you away from the tree and out the sort of north of that plan. So out the top of the plan and uh, towards uh, this sort of this other area where there's a there's a little small chapel zone. Uh, and it looks a bit more like a crypt meets a chapel uh, that's mm-hmm. off the map and to the north. And it's another terrace which like surrounds it. It's all ruins and blocks. There's other little mausoleums and crypts that probably have been like d- d- destroyed and are on the sides. And they sort of take up this area. And then you get a bit of a better view of the of the area around for the new initiated to you. You realise that this temple sits within a block around it of empty space that is all crumbled rubble. And uh, those of you who would have known the story that this temple was the site where the Lady of Pain just destroyed Eosakar and his temple and everything within a block made radius around it and just went, bosh, get rid. And uh, everyone in that area just just disintegrated. The whole the whole thing, the whole like the whole area was just gone. So that's kind of the Again, Lady of Pain for you. Don't piss off the Lady Exactly, pain. yeah, just to remind you. <laughs> that, 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 that's why Gigi was a bit uh, about Frankie yes. giving us some back chat last, last exactly. episode. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just in here. Um, look, we're not quite sure what it is. We've heard news, and I'm sure you heard the news that none of the portals are working, and we're trying to figure it out, and I'm just about to go to... I need to go to other meetings, but this seems more prominent than than the other thing uh, now Mm -hmm. so um, and GG yes anyway through here there's a weird portal has appeared we've never seen before so I'm just preparing you before we go in here it's something quite strange and uh, Lucinda is on her way who's going to help us maybe help us understand it I'm not sure Uh, and we can see what's going on so just, just in here don't touch it we've not touched it yet We've sent some things in. Anyway, uh, you're ready, I'm assuming. I've only just met you. Very pleasure to meet you. I've just got a lot to do. So, um, you ready to go inside? These people have been through hell and back. I, I have every faith. Okay, right. Okay, so you get okay, in here. And so there's there's a little square arch. It's kind of a flat square building. It's got a little dome top that just comes to a half circle at the top and probably got a little ocu- it's got a little oculus in the middle so you go through the door it's sort of a deep entrance it gets dark and um it's very thick walls and you walk in and i'd say what is it in size uh about uh 60 feet wide uh and it's a square and it's sort of like if you looked in plan it's like a square with like little doors off all corners and and you go into the middle of it and the, and you start seeing a sort of those core sticks that you get from water. You know when you have water underneath a bridge and it sort of reflects on a bridge. You get that sort of light that creates core stick light, uh, little flickery tendrils. You're seeing that, but in a very haphazardy way. And he goes, "This, this, um, this, uh, uh, like mausoleum was famed for you know the, the high priest of Eoscar at the time. So it's kind of one of the 
for you that sort of seems to have survived the torment and so mm. strange place for this to have arrived um but anyway uh let's let's in here there's and you kind of go and he's just telling you about that when you come through and then you see just cutting this space in half which is when you go in it's just a square room with a circular it's got a it's got a lovely like uh, marble pattern on the floor with like a circle that goes into a square with little circles in each corner and um and then this dome is like littered with like a with like a cos like a like the planes are all explained mm -hmm. in like a circle in the great wheel around it and you realize that this circle in the middle represents like the material plane and then the four elements are on those four little mini circles and then those little circles create tiny little little circles that kind of come off and it's basically like just diagrams of planar uh, exploration but in the middle of the room cutting it is this broken mirror effect shimmering thing it's kind of all like someone's it's like fluid and then shattered and like shards and stuff like that and it's all sort of there just in this in the center and it's sort of it like wrap it sort of cuts it in half as the square and as you get closer to it it sorts of bends a bit and he goes um it hasn't done this before and you get closer to it and it sort of bends around and wraps around in a circle, in like a cylinder, around that central circle. Um, that was new. Right. Anyway, this is what we found <laughs> here. It happened yesterday, about the same time that everything went a bit strange. Hobart has been reading some books, and he doesn't know what it is, and that's quite freaky because he doesn't know but but this seems to be some sort of portal we've chucked some things in there nothing's come back so far nothing's come out of it so far um no one's gone in it yet um but uh this is what we found do you have any ideas any Magical mm. ways of understanding it. I just think, you know, Lim, it, there's, um, I just, with your knowledge of some strange portal activity and being from Limbo your, yourself, GG, I, uh, we, we wondered, that was our sure. only guess, that it was something of a chaotic nature. Uh, do you, do you want me to roll something for this? Or, you can, uh, anyone can make any investigation, however you like. You can look at the room, there's, there, there, there's, Stuff. Are yeah, we, sure. Are we all in the room? I You're thought you just took Gigi. No, no, oh, no, absolutely. Sorry, ah. sorry. all in no. the room. Ah. No, um, no well, in that case, sorry. No, <laughs> Frank is not being let out of the No, everyone's coming. Sorry, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, I've got no, 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 19. 19 uh, on an investigation or an investigation. Uh, on investigation. Uh, okay, fine. Well, yeah. or I can't. No, however you want. Yeah, role. just tell me what you'd like to do. Do you want to investigate it, like look at it, or do you want to investigate it, like magically? Uh, I guess investigate it and look at it with sort of my 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 history and my okay. sort yeah. of knowledge from memory. All right. And what other numbers do people get in anything? I rolled a twenty-eight. Wow. Okay. Whoa. We'll come to uh, that. We'll come to that. Okay. Yeah. Um, Frankie's just got a, a, a fourteen. Uh, Gigi, why, why why don't you just hit it with your axe? <laughs> see see what happens. Um. <laughs> What uh, axe? Interesting. Okay, I don't think hitting this would be, an axe is a good idea, but you can obviously no. try. No, um, I don't know. If it's, I can see you're some sort of fighter, so that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, Cap captain, captain. Yes, captain. Oh, captain. Apologies. No, um, captain, captain. I'm that good. They name me twice. Okay. <laughs> don't mind her. I won't. She pulls it's your fine. leg. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to deal with all sorts of idiots before, so um, we will. <laughs> do you, do you oh, is that is that Hamilton speaking? Or is that... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was going to be like, GG raises their eyebrows. Does it, do, do Gif have eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone draw a pet, drew a pair on you last night when you were drunk. 
<laughs> yeah, with like, with like, with like. I just like, I like how Frankie's the naughty child, and everyone's just willing to just like, just tolerate, give her, it. tolerate it to a certain extent, and just give her back chat if that's well, okay. Because because in in canon we've all been together for like years, yeah. Exactly. So we must have just kind of totally come to terms yeah, exactly. with it as a thing. Yeah. Like, this, this, this is Frankie trying to be good in front of Gigi's boss. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Just trying to show you're important or something. Like yeah. we're all worried about Frankie, but she's a known entity. Mm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I'm more worried um, about Hamill. <laughs> yeah, that's the devil you know. Yes. Hey, but um, yes. uh, so, <laughs> so um, you uh, okay with the 19, 14, uh, I'm gonna say it's it seems like a some sort of portal. It's you can see different pictures and images in it. Um, Gigi, you take a look at it and you start to. You have a look at it and you feel you just sort of more feel something you feel a resonance at moments not all the time but every so often you just kind of go oh that sort of you know that sense of home that sort of smell of home that sort of you know that sort of feeling of home you just sort of get that yeah. but, but only when you're in like as i said at certain points and when certain colors shift in it it's kind of it's all different colors of of the rainbow and it's all it goes from you know it goes to no colors and probably into other spectrums of color you can't quite tell that but you can see but there's moments when it becomes slightly more soup like color and sort of like a, a gray greeny brown sort of color and that's when you sort of get the sense of home and then you get these moments where it becomes very deep red and you're like oh yeah i've been there <laughs> i've been there that is the abyss yeah that's, i've right. been there right yeah <laughs> i know that you get that sense of oh yeah that's yesterday <laughs> and you're you, you're feeling and you're just getting that impression based off that. You can take that however your intelligence will. But you're getting this sense of multiple different essences that you can resonate with mm. going around in it. 28. Let's come to the 28. <laughs> How I would like to flavor this is Carrie that she's like, rat, and gets out that orb and just hands yeah. it to Gigi and goes, hold this. Yeah. And uh, then, uh, and then uh, it's uh, like... Uh, 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 <laughs> We'll start like looking at it and stuff. She's not gonna touch it, but like with her goggles and stuff, like sort of investigating and like mm. looking at it. And then she's like, "Francis, what can you tell me?" Francis, okay. <laughs> hello, <laughs> hello, I might. Hello, Harry. How are you? Oh, we're not in the abyss anymore. Yay! <laughs> yeah, yay! He's exactly. Uh, I point was? of point of order. Yeah. yeah. What's this? What? It's a portal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know about portals. Right. Okay. Uh... <laughs> hey, you guys. Thirteen, thirteen. Um, he does a little bit of like loading screen <laughs> for a bit, <laughs> and he goes, uh, "I won't do the voice because it will hurt for longer." Than yeah, that, but that's it. Say. I'll do the introduction, <laughs> then I'll go through it. He goes through and he goes, "I'm noticing many uh, signatures of um, energy from this uh, patterns and runic symbols that are resonant with nearly all the planes, if not all the planes." Um, looking at the room, I can see that this this is a room with all the cosmology it is explaining that this is access this seems to have access to all it is searching for something searching for what i do not know but it seems to be searching for something that's unsettling uh okay so it could settle on, on a certain plane if it found whatever it was looking for I do not know more Perhaps. than that. All I can... Uh, it's getting the New Zealand accent. I do not know more than that. It just seems to be... All I can say is that it is constantly looking for something. Yeah, yeah. I heard you the first time, Francis. You know, we, we got this relationship. I talk out loud. I think out loud. And then you say facts. <laughs> you don't have to repeat it. I hear it once. It's fine. We've been through this. God, Kat, Carrie's being so mean. No, I can't. I'm always mean to Francis. It's an orb. He's not real. He... He. Oh, he's sentient, but he's not real. It's okay. There are lots of discussions we could get into about that, but anyway. Mm. It's alright, master. <laughs> no, it doesn't say Conspiracy. <laughs> Francis is the BBEG all along. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't. It, it's, it's like people that are rude to their Alexas. Mm. <laughs> That's exactly and he goes, that, and, uh, with a 28, actually, you're going to Is it 28? Let me see how I'm going to phrase this. Just give me a second. Oh, uh, <laughs> No, because I feel it's deserving of something. It's deserving of something additional than just that. This, the getting the searching was because you went over 20 
a bit over 20 that like and with the knowledge that it has but over 28 25 Congratulations. He Chloe. would say you something like brick with the DM. <laughs> he's gonna look at the he's gonna look around the room a bit more. It's sort of like <laughs> it's like a little ghost in Destiny, if anyone knows that. It's got a little set. Does it float? It floats around, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it can float. It can see in here and it can cast Mage Hand, but I don't think it can move. Well it can cast Mage Hand and carry say, itself. I'm gonna say it can it can float. I'm gonna give you that. I, know, I like the idea that it kind of goes and scans the room and it goes, I've seen these drawings before. Before? I have seen these drawings before. Well, I haven't, so when? Well, it was before you were born. Well, well I gathered that, but where? <laughs> when? I think I've been here before. You... you... What? I've been here before with your parents. Oh. Uh. Oh, dear. <laughs> And Harry, Harry, go, Harry just goes face. like, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harry just like goes uncharacteristically silent for a second and is just like, like, rebooting. Her, like, brain is just like, uh. Okay. I thought they spent all their time in Candlekeep. We've been many places. And you never thought to tell me this? You have not asked me. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's a cut. You literally. I'm like, asking a... now. Well, what? What do you? You're not asking me anything. You're asking me now. I'm asking where you. Where did? Where? Where? Why? Have, why were you here? I, too many questions. Oh my god. It wasn't. They investigated lots of things to like, do with like what? portals and plane our travel. That is why right? I know so much about portals and planar travel. I thought that would be obvious. Are you not a scientist? <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Unlike the rest of you, Carrie actually just smirks at that and she's like, "Aren't you well?" Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, I mean, so they carried you with them everywhere? Pretty much. I am a store of information. Ha, ha, ha. They said you came from Candlekeep. Yeah, that's where I originated. Oh, boy. I am easily transportable. Again, are you not a scientist? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny when you're Peter Francis. Sorry, I have limited um, I have limited humor uh, uh, diodes or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Did I not reinstall those last year? Clearly not. Huh. I think we're a bit busy, to be fair. Fair enough. Okay, well, you and I are going to have to sit down and have a proper talk at some point. I'm not trusting you, Francis. I am literally... <laughs> he hasn't got anything to say to that. He just doesn't say anything. Okay, okay, the silent treatment. Okay, fine. I'll grab it off of Gigi and, like, stuff it back in the bag. I hope I have been up there, it's... <laughs> and he disappears. <laughs> can, can we all hear that conversation? Yeah, it's out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all that's, out loud. That's fine, because Fra Frankie's making a note of the term, aren't you a scientist? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, that is uh, something for later, I think. But right now, the the thing is searching for something. Do you, do you know? so. You have a very interesting friend. Ah, uh, he's not my friend. Clearly. He's my vassal, if anything. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, well, you seem to have this under control. I'm I, I'm going to go check if Lucinda's here and I'll see if I can send her in. But um, Gigi, I will leave this in your capable hands. I need to go and deal with a greater situation. There's a meeting of all the factholes at the, the Hall of Speakers, so I must go. But um, if you can help lead some sort of team, whoever you need, call on. Hobart is, is already searching the books. And I will trust you in your capable hands. And one day you're going to tell me where we sent you and why we sent you away. Because it's great to have you back. And he clasps your hand and gives you a shake and says, seriously, it is. And I'm sorry for my confusion. Um, yeah. And he walks away confused again. Just not sure. It looks looks at you sort of for a moment and tries to think. And he's just trying to... No, it's gone. 
We will talk. And he leaves. Oh, nice to meet you, he says as he leaves out there. You too. Yeah, bye. Um, yes. As, so, as, um, as when... Oh, go on, Hamill. Okay, okay we're, you, we're guys, going through, you yeah. guys did pretty well there, actually. You told us not to talk, and to be honest... Um... And it worked! I wasn't expecting you to listen. <laughs> hmm? Hey, Sorry? we can do stuff that we're asked when we really want to. Okay, alright, alright. Okay. Uh, fine. So... What do you guys want to do now, then? Is, is there any stones or pebbles and like that on the on the floor or anything? Yeah, it's it, yeah. it's all a bit. Cr it's crumbly, yeah. but it's this Crumb, is in yeah. pretty good nick, as I said, compared to the rest of the temple. So, so Fra Frankie just wants to pick something, yeah. a pebble, a stone up, and just throw it at the portal. Okay, roll me uh, a d twenty, please. Twenty. Uh, that's a fourteen. Okay, give me. Okay, I'm gonna need. I need more tabs up, bugger. More tabs. <laughs> we must acquire additional tabs. Here we go. 14. Bloody hell. Right, here we go. Let's count. I've got to count round. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, this sounds good. Okay. You chuck it through. What, what happens to the... It just goes through and as you... Uh, give me a perception check. Let's get you Everyone. rolling. You want to roll. Whoever wants to. Yeah, whoever wants to. Someone's uh, watching. It's a 17. Uh, 17? I'm... I'm... Okay. I'm quite good at perception. When you see, when you see it go through, you get a very, very brief glimpse as it hits one of these shards. As I said, so it's like a shard, and like it's less. This one is more uh, fluid, uh, but it kind of hits that, and it goes through. Uh, actually, no, sorry, it's more shard-like. Apologies, it's more shard-like, it's more form, mm. um, and it goes through, and uh, the color of it is a, is a luscious. But very vibrant green, like vermilion green, like a, yeah, or maybe even emerald green sort of thing. And it heads through. And when you see uh, anyone who got over a 15 would see just a beautiful rolling hill uh, just in the distance, just in, just through this like little, it's probably a shard about that big. And you see through that gap as it hits through, it sort of like, activates and changes from just being like a blurry color to a rolling hill, like the, uh, just like, like England, to like England, <laughs> you know, like it looks like England through there. Like England, if it didn't rain. England, yes. if it didn't rain, and it yeah. was no, it's a yeah, it's yeah, exactly. It was a little bit just like the classic chocolate box picture of of English countryside. Well, yes, that's uh, definitely the doorway. No, there's definitely things going through it. Well, I, I, I um, Carrie, Carrie, um, do you think we should yeah. throw one of the other ones through first, just to see what happens? Okay, I'm annoyed at Hermel, but I'm not that annoyed just okay. yet. Should, should, should you hold up plan stupid, we'll, we'll, we'll hold make... that plan? We'll plan for now, yes. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's Pla pla plan C. Plan C, okay, plan okay. Hello, is everyone okay in there? The, Hi, Zoe. Come, you can come in if you really? want, I, I guess. I think stupid face is getting even more scared. But shall I bring him in? I think he needs to see this. Yes. Okay, come on, stupid face. My don't name call is him Brian. Stupid face. I don't. Yes, that's fine. Come on then. So thanks for holding my hand earlier. Uh, let's let's go in. So they they come in. Oh, let's go in. Let's go. No, what? What is it? What is this? Oh, holy crap! What the fuck is going? Uh, it's a portal. It's flicking between stuff, and apparently it's searching for something. It's, it's a sentient portal searching for something. Great! This day's got Well, I better. don't know about sentient. I mean, there's plenty of there's plenty of stuff of sentient that you can like sit down and you say, right, you got to do this thing, and then it does a thing, and that's not sentient. Uh, true. Uh, yes, it could be like, a tool it, of sentient. Yeah, I see what yeah. you mean. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I have no idea. I, I just forgot the word for tool somehow. That's fine. <laughs> Aren't you a scientist? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> that's the episode title. Aren't you a scientist? <laughs> is now the episode title. <laughs> Perfect. Um, um, it's, it's, b b Brian, Brian, it's fine. You can tell your Lady of Pain we have fixed the portals. <laughs> you just <push> it. <laughs> oh, good. points at a portal. Frankie. She wanted portals. We have a portal. Okay, good. Our job here is done. Well done, Frankie. I'm very impressed. That's very good. What a, oh, You know what? I didn't think you'd fix the universe that quickly. That was the one problem as well, because we've also got to fix the big red orb that's outside that's also freaking people out, but we will deal with that later. <laughs> people think it's the apocalypse. It's so good. It's all good. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not having a freak out. Sorry, I don't have a freak out. Keep my, you know, light humour to myself. If this, if this portal keeps 
switching between realities and stuff. Do mm. you think we could use it to get at that orb? At that what? Anyone? Well, it, you said the orb was just another universe, right? But it's contained. Maybe. I don't... Do you think this portal could go there? I, I, I literally have no idea. I'll... I don't even... I'm, so... I'm just throwing stuff out there, mm. you know? Yeah. That's a good... I mean... Who knows? If we can somehow learn how to control it? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Sound like a good idea? Mm. I don't know. Zoe's like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, it put my... Oh. No, uh, Zoe, no. No? No? No, no touching. You sure? I Not right now. We don't know it. Enough. I know, but we gotta, we gotta, you know, be careful. We gotta let, we gotta let other people touch it first. Okay. That's how I normally do things. Okay, fine. I mean... And then we see if it's safe. And then if it's safe, then we can touch it. Okay. All right. Oh, boring. Can I throw something in? Have you already thrown something in? I bet you already thrown it in. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. What happened? I'm uh, gonna... Are we gonna, assuming... I don't know. We probably don't have all of our adventurous gear on, we, on us, do we? I'd like to get some rope. Okay. And tie it around something. I don't know. Like something. And then throw it into the portal whilst holding the rope. Okay, yeah. You can do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright. And then, does it go through the portal? Okay, yeah, roll me a d20 again. Just roll me a d20. Uh, 15. I'll be one over then, won't it? <laughs> so, that's easier. Um, okay, yeah. You throw it through. Uh, again, this one is a, a shard part of the, the portal. Uh, of the, 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 the object it goes through um it uh you see anyone who, who's got a passive perception over 15 let's just say mm -hmm. you can see yeah. that you see it yeah. looks cold <gasps> really cold but um but uh but there's like a big mountainside cliff uh it's sort of rocky and then it closes <laughs> and after about you know six seconds you notice that you it shifts that 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 shard shifts away and it cuts the rope. Ah oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Because the, the did... shards are sort of like they do this and then they kind of like do that and then they kind of do that. Do you know what I mean? So it's sort of like it sort of glitches a little bit. It's not always random, but I'm taking it as a round. You know, it does a round sure. of being sort of stable for each. Once you've activated the portal, it seems that it, they sort of stay stable for a bit and then they close. So Did what you... happens if we touch a bit that's not one of these shards, one of the in-between spaces? Well, it's all shards and gloop. It's, it's kind of shards and gloop between shards, if you know what I mean. Right. Uh, did, did, did you did you see that? that, that the, first, the first time it was a uh, uh, green rolling hills, and, uh, and, and that, that looked like a snowy mountain. It's mm -hmm. uh, that, that doesn't look stable to me. Is it still doing that, like, wrapping around warping thing? Yeah, it's all movement. It's completely moving. If you imagine, like, like it's like water but with glass floating in it if that's the best example right. have you ever seen like um i'm thinking like the thor uh dark world portal oh. sort of thing do you know what i mean mm. sorry I, I was kind of picturing more the um, the mirror from the first matrix film it mixed kind of with gloopy. that yeah mixed yeah, with if, that if, if that was like shattered and yeah if you imagine yeah. that it's kind of like mercury with shards yeah. of metal in it that yeah yeah that's kind of how you'd excite but it's sort of yeah it's got a color quality to it and it's sort of like stained glassy so you can kind of just mm -hmm. see through it you can see the the other side of the this this cylinder a bit but when you activate the portal like by hit, throwing something in it seems to make it more solid and goes from being a blurry cut to full picture image of whatever that shard is creates a creates a moment mm -hmm. you know we do have the axe Mm -hmm. One do. of us could always jump through, and then if we can't get back, use the axe to pull back. I I, I could take the axe. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. You could. We're all agreed that's a bad idea. You're not proficient with that. Axes, you? Absolutely, uh, you're not having the axe. Don't to, you don't have to swing one. Uh, um, Gigi, Gigi, how are you standing in the room? How are um, you comparative to this room? <laughs> Superhero pause. This is what I was thinking. <laughs> not, not a million miles away from the portal, to be honest, because he was looking at it. Okay. Um, go, go ahead. <laughs> who's got? Who? What's people's past perception? What's the highest past perception we've got? 
I'm I've... 19. 16? 19? Nine, 19. God, I've got okay. 15, and that's okay, pretty... Okay, yeah. Well, that was Carrie, I'm going to say as well, with your the insight, the investigation check you've taken, you've noticed that the area near Gigi stays more gloopy. This was my suspicion! Yes. <laughs> it just stays more gloopy. You're just noticing that these shards seem to, like, weave around a bit like his form, but he, when he gets... So he's quite a bit away from it. When he get when he got closer, you're now thinking, oh wait, yeah, it went. It was those gloopier colours. When he looked, when he looked, it was. You said it. You saw gloopier colours. Okay, but is that because of Gigi, or is that because he's got the axe strapped to his back? We don't know yet. <laughs> Gigi. Hiya. Can you take a couple steps back for me. <sighs> yeah, sure. I take a couple of steps back. You take a couple of steps what back. It, it sort of then starts to allow more of those shards in there and it sort of recedes and you notice that, yeah, that I've, I've got this right. There was something about, it was kind of gloopier then and then and then now it's it's um, it's sort of reforming into just more like the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you see that? Do you see it, it was all gloopy and stuff? And yep. it's not? Yeah, I did. Can you, can you just go outside the door a sec? I want to see what happens if you're not in the room. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So he goes out the room. It just becomes a little bit more, I'd say very minorly, very minorly more movement. Oh. Hmm. Okay, JJ, you can come minorly. back in. Like, barely, probably with a 19, you're going to just notice it. You might be like, am I seeing that? Yeah. Hello. Uh. You said it's, that there was... it's reacting to you. Oh. I think. Go. Interesting. There was like circle things on the floor with loads of different planes and stuff. What if you stand like on the center one, and then we all stand on ones that connect to it around the outside? May maybe. It's worth a try. Sure. I mean, I don't think anyone else has got a better idea. So uh... <laughs> okay, you all, you all... I love a really unrigorous scientific experiment. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and make. I'm gonna try and make a plan for this. I'm gonna try. If I've got some time before this goes out, I'll try and do a little architectural drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you go stand on. So you all go stand on the four, four yeah. circles in the corners. Okay. And you said that there was a one in the very center. That they you we can't get to the center now because that's that's, where the, that's thing the, is. the things in the way. It's basically covering uh. around that center, that circle. So there is there is one in each corner though. As I said, there is one in each corner. Let's 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 stand on one. Okay. Um, uh, and what do they all diff all represent? So okay, well, when you stand on them, you all notice that they very easily with your intelligences that you have that there is a symbol for some some moving air there's one for like flowing water and there's one for oh, fire. I've, I've seen this film all yeah. right okay yeah. so <laughs> it's not one yeah with fire forgot. i'm gonna light a little bit of fire on it and then the one with the wind i'm gonna blow on it and then the one with the water i'm uh, gonna put some water on it yeah you do that and nothing happens it's, just, <laughs> it's not fifth element it's not fifth element <laughs> we're not gonna make it <laughs> maybe it's the maybe it's that uh, that famous bard band that um, Earth Wind and Fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. Uh, Earth Wind and Fire and Water. You mean everyone always forgets no, what, the what, keyboard what, player. Water left. They they, they kick water out yeah. uh, too, too wet. I mean, those gymnasties were just great, though, weren't they? <laughs> oh, oh yes, yes. yes. Oh dear, <laughs> that is. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I saw That's the opportunity. Amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> It's canon. Oh, canon. Canon now, now yeah. Canon. Canon. Yeah. So, yeah. We've got the spy we've got Cobalt Spice Girls in Dragon's Jewel. We now got the Ganassi Earth Wind Ganassi, Fire and Water. Earth Wind and Fire and Water. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. I can't remember now what their famous song is. Did someone help me? What was their uh, name? September? September. Probably. Oh, there was another uh, one. September there. Boogie Wonderland. Boogie Wonderland. Boogie, Boogie Wonderland. Land, Wonderland. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um <laughs> so you all stand in the corners and you know you just you're you're on these circles. Hmm. Well, it was a good suggestion, Hermel. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. You pour some. Do you actually pour water on it? Because you just pour water <laughs> and it seeps into the ground, like you pour oh, fire on it. Okay. Doesn't right. do that. Well, I'm out of ideas. 
Well, this has got something to do with Gigi. Or perhaps the axe. The axe yes. uh, okay, what? so the obvious next thing is that I have to hand the axe to someone. Uh, Brian? Me? <laughs> oh, no, mate. I, I, no, I, look, I trust you more <laughs> than literally anyone else in the room to have the axe at the moment. I know how to use an axe. Okay. Yeah, that's the controlled issue. and resisted the temptation there. to become a god with that helmet. I think you can trust me. Res resisted? I'm not controlled touching that temptation? axe. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. put the thing on your um, head. In I, fact, I, 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 can I just say, I've, I've not done anything Frank that Frankie, would, would Frankie. earn your mistrust in the last oh, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's almost exactly 20 minutes, actually, because that's when you tried to steal the fruit. Exactly. Uh, okay, I think I will go for... <laughs> Carry, I'm gonna be offended. Just to hold the axe, I'm gonna take it back, but you hold it and see if the thingies go, <laughs> go blurry. Of course. Or blobby. I like uh, I think it's a technical term. Uh, yeah, com completely. All terms are technical terms. That's what language is. Uh, <laughs> so, sorry, what? That didn't mean anything. Aren't you a scientist? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Science well, she, not a she, she's not a linguist. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the axe and I'll do exactly the same sort of thing that I got Gigi to do, and that I'll like hold it where he was standing before, and then like take a couple steps back and then go out the room. Like, okay, fine. So you go, you go a bit close to it. <laughs> what you do with the when you go closer, holding the axe, something actually different happens. Weird. Oh. Mm. So it sort of it just resonates energy more when you get closer to it. Hmm. So it just seems to be more active and seems to start sort of like the shards get bigger. Hit it with the axe. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm doing and then, like but it's not, but it's, but, but it's not just shards. It's shards and glue for you. As in like, Stop there is no glue. like um, particular like, uh, you know, quality to it. It is just like the same sort of quality, but it is, it's just glooping about. Bigger. But it's just bigger. More yeah. as in... Probably Frankie and Hummel could probably jump through one now, you think, in your brain. As a scientist, you're not going to not think about experimental, <laughs> you know, who could be a yeah. lab rat. <laughs> but, but, uh, oh, yeah, she's deciding who's the most likely lab rat. <laughs> Definitely. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> can, can, can we see the fact that we acted differently as well? Yeah, it's very clear. Very clear. Yes, all I, of you. Yes, okay. I, I, I do think that maybe each of us should just hold the axe just for for science and, and see what reaction No, I'm gets. pretty sure it's the axe. Exactly, yeah, but it's reacted differently for you than it did for Gigi. It may react differently again for Hummel and maybe it might react differently for, for me. I hate that you're making logical sense because I don't trust you, Frankie. Try, try Hummel first. Probably a good idea. I'll hand it over to Hummel. I love how <laughs> Frankie is the least responsible for some reason. Yeah, Hummel is Made deals oh, yeah. with really bad people. <laughs> oh, that's the bank story. That wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Okay. Do people people change here. Hamilton. No, I know, I know. They do. <laughs> uh, sure. So uh, Hamilton will take the axe and do the exact same thing and go and stand next closer. to the thingy, a bit closer in the center. Okay. And hold the axe out. In I'm going to say for you when you go closer, the activity is the same. However, it is very shard and it is very red oh it goes clearly I... more of the red shards and it is um it is but it is more activity and they are larger shards what if i touch the axe to the portal just give it a little little tap my eyes <laughs> you touch the axe you find that the minute the axe touches it solidifies and stops moving whilst it's touched the portal, not the axe. The portal. Okay, good. <laughs> it stops completely moving. Everything within, let's say, uh, a good radius around it. It's still glooping around, but when you've touched it, it is solid. Mm. GG. You have a go. Oh, it's, it's interesting. Uh, so you pull it away, sure. you pull it away, and it just goes back to the thing. But what you notice, once you've touched it, you notice that one of those shards remains very solid for quite a while. As it stays around, floating in it. I think what it's it? some kind of combination between the axe and Gigi's natural aura seems to have the most 
powerful effect. I would say though the effect is very. I'd say the effect. Sorry, is is the same amount of energy. However, you just noticed when Gigi went closer, it was more gloopy. <laughs> Whilst and it was just gloopy, and therefore it was it's harder to to justify to see understand. But because of your two, because there's more shards involved, it's very much easier to see where those shards are mm. solid. If you see what I mean, I'm trying to explain that better so that it's not. I'm trying to make it clear that I'm so there's no confusion. Does that make so when I when I touched it and it went solid, was it just all the red? Just, yeah. Okay, so somebody else have a go and see if they. Um, I I I, th I think it might be. Uh, I think it might be my turn, Homo. Against my better judgment, I think we gotta try it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Then. Go on then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pass the next over to yeah. to Frankie. Mm -hmm. um, Frankie. <laughs> there um, is much fear. Everyone in the room is very on edge. Everyone's so on edge. Like. Yes. <laughs> A huge grin. Zoe comes goes across. Oh my gosh, this is so silly. <laughs> Not a huge you. grin comes across Frankie's face. Um, she starts. If anyone with your passive nineteen perception, <laughs> you might notice that Hummel is starting to play with his recorder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ready to ready to cast fireball <laughs> anytime. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's like uh, a hand on the big, yeah. the big she, red, she just, just, like... <laughs> just, yeah, Frank, Frank just swings the axe casually a couple of times, takes a few steps forward <laughs> towards the portal, and what happens? So for you? Yeah. Frankie. Touch it. It goes, it goes gloopy. It goes gloopy. Um, but it... I don't know what I feel... Yeah, no, I know exactly what it would do for you. It goes gloopy, but it is, it's not red, it's like orangey red. And it goes, and it's like, you notice that when you get closer, it starts to like bubble, like uh, like a basalt. Do you know what I mean? It looks like basalt, sort mm -hmm. of like those sort of pockets of air inside the gloop. And you get closer and it's sort of more that sort of tone around the reds and the other greens and the sort of vibrant and more disgusting colours. But yeah, that's kind of what it would go for you, I feel. Okay, Frankie's just she's just gonna stand there just a little bit too long. You mm -hmm. touch the axe. You gonna touch, touch the axe? She touch touch the axe. You touch the axe against it, and it forms into like it forms into a the the gloop turns into like a basalt shape. Mm -hmm. So it's like a bit of like a basalt rock that sort of then like lists in, and then everything stops around it for a while. And then when you take it away, that basalt shape sort of keeps flowing around in the muck before it dissipates again. Yeah. Okay, and Frankie's going to look down at the axe, look up to the other people in the room, look down the axe again, uh, look up, and then just throw the axe back over to, to Gigi again and go, okay. What? What? what, what why, why, why? Why does everyone stare at me constantly? <laughs> I don't know, Frankie. Why might that be? I, I, I gave the axe back. I, I, I think you do you, you service. So, so, Gigi, how many times you, have you touched? You touched it twice with the axe, twice. right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just remind myself. Hamel and Frankie did. Okay. Okay. Well, it seems it's different for each person. Perhaps this portal was looking for the the axe, but then. Like which one is the right one? Is is there a right one? What? <laughs> oh, jeez, it's so much fun. It's, I don't know if it's fun for everyone else. I hope it is. But it's, it's... what happens if we just throw the axe through? I, I very much would not like to. Do I that. don't want to let go of the axe. It's I, I quite important to me that we hang on to it. <laughs> GG. I think. Um, I think. I think you're the key. Right, I'll do it then. You're gonna to touch the axe to the. Yes, yes, Hamilton. I am gonna. Is touch that three the axe times to... you touch the axe to? That is three. Yes, Hamilton. <laughs> that is three times. <laughs> That's interesting, isn't Gigi, it? I, I, I think Gigi the may be the. Yeah, Gigi may be the uh, the key holder. We need to find the gatekeeper. Okay, so when you touch the axe this time, it's gloopy again. As you get closer, it's gloopy, and you then pull the axe out, and you're about to touch it, and that gloop forms into a consistent shape of gloop but it's ever oh. changing 
colour, right? But it's okay. you can see it's defined within it, but it's obviously more chaotic. It's super chaotic. It is reforming its earth. It's it sort of looks liquidy and it's completely ever changing. Suddenly you see like what looks like a branch grow out of it, and then it's like back and it's just glooping around. Gigi, you would know very much so that this reminds you of home. This is a very limbotic sort of limbo esque. <laughs> Is, 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 is limbotic the word? Yeah. I don't know. Limbotic. <laughs> limbotic. Limboetic. Lim, limboite. Lim... Lim, yeah. Limbotic is now a word. That, 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 is, that is canon. Limbotic, <laughs> yeah. It's limbo-esque. And, it's, um, <laughs> and it forms, but obviously everything else is solid around it. But again, it's more gloopy. However, Gigi. however, give me one second. However, this is the third time you do it. You feel a pulse emanate from this this circle and oh. go down into the into the into the axe i need you to make a um i need you to make well i guess it would be a constant saving throw yes gg <laughs> me me yeah um little old me oh well, I'm, I'm glad i, I gave I, the axe I, back i think i think i think i've still got inspiration so i'd like to cash this that in at this point as Take well didn't you lose it for making bad puns yeah <laughs> i i do yeah but i made um, a bad pun so everyone got one 19 yeah yeah that, that, that's what i was referencing that's uh, how will gets inspiration no 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 19, 19. <laughs> under 20 basically okay so it's fine can, can so, i uh, <laughs> see seeing that yeah go on get him up can i can I chuck him an inspiration? Seeing Do that it. shit's about to go down, I think you can use that on a same throw. Yeah, I think he has to use it before he makes the roll. He has to mm. say he's going to use the inspiration. Oh, yeah, so I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Oh. No, you, in in, in yeah. interest of fairness, it's just the only thing is you're going to make you're going to take a little bit of damage instead of just getting the the thing. So don't worry, it's not too bad. You're just going to take one d ten, just one d ten. It's not not it's not too tasty. Okay. Um, one d ten, just one d ten, and you're and it's only two, two plus plus two, so two plus two. So four, four, four yeah. lightning damage. It's like a lightning damage, and it it wrecks through you. But the moment it hits you, you see. Now you just get this glimpse instantaneously of mm -hmm. a hulking shell. It's humongous. It is the size of planets. It is a figure. It's like rotting, but it's sort of it's but it's in a stasis. It's in the astral sea, and it's gone. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you okay, Gigi? Uh, yeah, and I imagine like like his his clothes are like lightly smoking or something. <laughs> yeah, um, ah, ah. Okay, yeah, we're and... fine. I think, I think we know. What's your passive perception as well? Then. What's your passive perception? Me. Yeah. M moi. Uh, fifteen. Okay. You? Mm. No, not enough. <laughs> not enough. That's all you got. That's all you got. Fifteen. Yeah, Thanks, Hamilton. Like concentrating on a place, you know, really, mm -hmm. you know, concentrate on a place that you feel as though we should go. Where, where what are we doing? Where, where are we supposed to be going? What are we supposed to be doing? We've got to co concentrate on a place that you want to go to, and then, and then try it again. See if you can control it. Uh, At the moment, it's just your nature is saying, oh, you're from Limbo, so that's where it's forming. But what if you really concentrate on somewhere, like, I don't know, the material realm somewhere? If you just really, really yeah. concentrate. Uh, I'm, I'm going to partially follow um, Hummel's advice, but instead think of my parents. Okay. And yeah. really focus on that and sort of visualize what they look like and then try to do it again. To be, you're going to touch it again. Yes, I'm going to touch it again. <laughs> it, worked, it kind of worked last time. It looked like we got I'm progress last there. time. <laughs> it's like, fine, good. Right, good idea. Okay. So you... <laughs> You, 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 go to you it. could say good idea with a bit more honesty. It, glo <laughs> it, glo it does the gloopiness. It goes to a limbo s thing. It's very much the same thing. You touch it and um, you it doesn't do the, it doesn't do the effect again. Uh, but... You get another brief moment of the image. You don't get the. You get a very. Just get like mm -hmm. a. I'm going to give you a, a residual memory of it. That hawking figure is back in the astral plane. It's humongous. It's the size of planets. It twitches. <laughs> okay. There is some big. Consciousness, I think is probably the right word. Like being. Here, 
And Where? like in in the portal, let's say. Oh. I don't really know what to do anymore. Just go work Consciousness on the farm. Can I ask what on earth all of you people are doing right now? And behind you, science. you see a human female oh. uh, going like, what is going? Who are you? And what the heck is going on in here? And I will uh, leave uh, it I'll there. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it there for this week because that's too cl cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. Yeah. Come on, there's a cliffhanger. Thank you, everyone, for Lovely. watching. Whoa, yes, yes. Was that all right? <laughs> God, Hamilton. Well, <laughs> I just I forget that we're still streaming in a way. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, we're playing. Games. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but they're, they're they're the best games, aren't they? But it's just mm. it's, mm. it's it's the game you not focus on. Yeah. Other people, it's just us yeah. by people just Same having game. fun that's yeah yeah, no, that's yeah what definitely. it'll be about yeah so I'm, <laughs> i feel for, sorry for hummel because i feel like hummel wants to leave the party at some point i was really <laughs> right? like, <laughs> i was like i was thinking <laughs> no. like it's, hummel could just leave right now it could just be like i'm, a, I'm done i'm done i'm done. Off. gonna be a farmer i, I feel like that. the rest that of us was... are not gonna let hummel Get away. Literally break the universe yeah. and then be like, I'm gonna be a farmer now, bye! Yes. Sort it out! Yeah, it's his exactly. internal struggle, like, no, he's it, it, like, it. having a bit of a midlife crisis at the minute, like, <laughs> but you know, now now he's been sucked back in and he's got fucking Asmodeus in his head, mm. like, oh. yeah. he never left you, he was just Dunno. messing with you, he was just messing. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted you to, to have that moment of fun. To then take it away from you again, I think more than anything, which is kind of yeah. sad about it. Yeah, I think I feel kind of like the night before, like before getting drunk, when he was going through his kind of mm. uh, a crisis. He was like, "Oh, you know, fuck them, fuck this. We're gonna, I'm just going to do what, what I want from now onwards. I'm not going to follow the 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 winds of fate. I'm going to make my decisions." And and Carrie was like, "No, we've got to do this." He was like, "Okay, but I'm going to do it on my terms." And then he got drunk, and he was like. Oh, I'm do it. Well, I'm gonna be a farmer. <laughs> so he was like, woke up all happy, like oh, I've had an epiphany. Yeah, there we go. That was screw Asmo. I'm just gonna be a farmer. Oh. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, and it's not as if Asmo's luck made you head of the dairy and cheese thing, is it? No, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I love how I can just play that. That's the case now. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. his luck. It's your luck. Whatever. It's great. Okay. Cool. Well. With that, then, let's say thank you to everyone. Thank you, my wonderful players. I, did you hear my little message to you in the in the podcast the other day? I left um, you. I'm not listening to it. Yeah. Yeah. See, no, this is why no. I'm no. telling you, you're not listening. Oh, oh. <laughs> I watched the stream. You don't what, have to listen. Some... You don't have to listen to yourself again. You you play it to be fair. <laughs> yeah. But I I did put a little. I, I, I do listen. I just haven't listened to it yet. No, I've don't been, worry about it. It's uh, fine. In all honesty, I found a new podcast. I've been binging. They're called Pretending to Be People. It's a Delta Green podcast. I'm loving it. Okay. But um, yeah. Uh, I'm mate, gonna prove I, it. To you. I, I turned my blur off so you can see it. Look. Yeah. Mine, I've got, oh yeah, we should. Do, oh, maybe we should all do. It. Has anyone got? Should we do a podcast recommendation at the end of this? Let's boost some. Let's Ooh, boost some creative. Yeah, yeah, that's really. Let's good. do that. Let's do so that. If, you, like do if that. you look at my playlist, you can see I've got a couple at the top. Oh, there's dragons yeah. there. Yeah, and dragon's Shield is right there. There it is. See? I just yeah. haven't got to it yet. No, it's fine. That's fine. No, I do say how much I appreciate you because I really do. I've been saying. I was just saying to everyone in the thing. I was like, you know what? I really appreciate these Aww. people. They're amazing. Aww. So thank you so much. We so, appreciate you. Oh, yeah. don't, I can't handle that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, I know that's why I say it. Yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, it's very nice to hear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Okay. Nothing with that. Um. Uh. So we. <laughs> where? Let's do. Why don't we? Yeah. We'll say where where we can find all you wonderful people. And then why don't we do all give a podcast recommendation when you say that, yes. like something that you want to do. So we'll mm -hmm. start with, we did alphabetical last week, did we? So we'll do reverse alphabetical this week. Or we'll just flip it. Let's just go random. We'll start with Chris <laughs> this week. Oh, there you go. right. Then we'll go Chris, um, yep. Chloe, Luke, Will. How about that? Random. Right. Mm. Chaos plane. Mm. Yep. Um, so yeah, Chris, uh, you can find me on Twitter as uh, Barbara Crows, mm -hmm. which is underneath on that one. Yep. Um you could kind of find me on Instagram at Goblin Paint Job, but I haven't lifted the paintbrush in weeks and weeks, so there's very little on there. Yeah. Um, on that, and oh, I see the podcast one. I, I whatever I do, the other one's going to shout at me. Um, yeah, just say one now, and you're going to do. We'll do this every week, so you can. We'll do this one. Yes. So, well, I'll I'll go off. Uh, we'll go Billwin Hilltop. 
very good choice. Yeah, good choice. Um, yes, combined age of um, D and D knowledge about four hundred and seventy-three. I think at last count. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're a great podcast uh, yeah, to as well uh, what's very clever about Bill and Hilltop listeners and, and viewers is they are playing 5e but they have taken a um, wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 everyone just wait for it wait for it here we go here we go Ooh. they've taken a third edition module which was written by Paizo, who do Yay! 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 It took this long, two hours, yeah. 22 minutes, and we're in. Um, <laughs> who yeah. had that, who had that in the sweepstakes? Um, have converted it to 5e. It's, it's a really clever concept that uh, I don't think any other podcast has done. I think it's brilliant. Cool. Check, check them out. What? We're using 2e and converting it to 5e. Oh, yeah. well, here we go. Ish. Up yours, Billu in Hilltop. Huh? <laughs> ish. Very much ish. ish. <laughs> it's not as, we're not using a module that clever. No, they're very good. Uh, okay, cool. Thank you for that, Billy Hilltop. I like them as well. They're very good. And uh, Chloe. Chloe. Hello. Uh, I am Chloe. I've already forgotten all the things, but yeah. You can At Chloe with the flow, you do At Chloe Twitch. with the flow. You also are yes. Chloe Elliott, two L's, two T's <laughs> on Spotify. You can find all the music there. Do you do it's Doma, nice. which is an actual play podcast with actual asexuals and aromantics, which is having some technical issues, but is now sorted now because you are all yes. ace is in a... I didn't mean that. I said I was saying aces in a positive way, and then I realized that that has two meanings. So there you go. Also, also yeah. on the ace or aces. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's because I actually use the term, oh, that's aces. Do you know what I mean? Like, is it? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, go. I don't just do it. That's that's everywhere. Yes. There you go. That's it. There you are. Hamilton. I'm a music everywhere as well, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Have you got a um, podcast recommendation apart my from obviously Doma? Obviously Doma. Yeah. Will. Um. But. <laughs> uh. No. It's it's fine. Um. Cl- no, Cl- I wanted Chloe promos herself in our DMs quite often. <laughs> <laughs> I do do that just yeah. to mess with Will. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime he says anything, I'm like, you know, you know, this actually relates to this thing that I do. <laughs> um, Amazing. No, uh, I wanted to shout out. Um, uh, there's a, the, a cast of many things that Will and I have been kind of involved mm. in, but specifically, they did a um, they did a short series of the Dresden Files RPG, mm. which. I love the Dresden Files. Okay. I am reading Battleground right now. I have read it about 70% of it in like two days. Uh, uh, but I was like so excited to find out that they were doing the RPG because I wanted to play it with my friends and they all went, mm. we don't want to learn a new system. And I went, oh, okay. So I didn't Boring get to play friends. it. But, um, but yeah. I got to listen to these guys play it and Thank it was cool. really and, awesome. Uh, Cast of Many Things also have a great campaign of the system Masks, which which also features Chloe. So if you enjoy Chloe in this... <laughs> yes. Yeah, she, she, oh, she's Nathan, on there playing uh, the Nathan shouted us out the other day, didn't he? Our music. Yeah, our Nate, I saw that. He's wonderful. He's, yeah. he's lovely. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Nate. So, cast many things, and there is also a, a, a one shot with me and Chloe both on it yes. as well. Ah, there you go. And I will, we I will, I, I, I will also shortly be in a different cast of many things uh, called Cthulhu game in the future. Yeah. There we go. Uh, awesome. I'm effectively playing Giles from Buffy. Nice. Because <laughs> I'm the token, I'm the token British person, so yeah. I thought I'd just do the. <laughs> I can see it, to be honest. Yeah, I can. <laughs> is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> is, is, he, is he Giles he to... or is he like... Um... <laughs> Hold on. Is it the sort of the... Um... I mean, it's the last season of Angel when like um, some of the Slayers come in and help Angel out and take away the Slayer they find. And um, is, it An- <laughs> is it Andrew who turns up and he's like been taken under Giles' wing as a as a watcher? Oh, no, I've, I've, I've never oh, watched a single it? episode of Buffy. Oh, no, I love oh. Buffy and Angel, massive fan. I, I binged them all last year, so I used to watch them a lot when I was younger. They were really good. Yeah. I, anyway, Cosmo Things is good. It's the, it's the takeaway. That, that's the takeaway. <laughs> <from> that, <laughs> yeah. there we go. All right, then we can, this is going random order. Will, then you go next. Then. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so you can find me, uh, or if you liked my bad American accent in this. It is also in uh, a rendezvous of destiny at rwd underscore pod, uh, as down below, um, yeah. which is a system where we play, uh, it's a podcast where we play the Scion system, which we call Scion all the way through, even though that's not how it's pronounced. <laughs> uh, it's like a mix between uh, American Gods and Percy Jackson, where we play as demigods. We are on the fourth season, but there is, um, it, it's quite short, each season's only 10 episodes, so there's not much to catch up on, mm. and it's, it's just a fun time. 
um, and we are moving to a new system in the future and welcoming some new um, some new sort of main cast Whoa. as well, which will be very exciting. That's exciting. Cool. So so keep keep tuned, stay tuned for that. Is the thing awesome. that people say. Um, okay, cool. I'm also on the date night drive-in with my lovely girlfriend, which is at d8 night drive-in mm. on uh, Twitter. And um, just the date night drive-in on Spotify, where we go through the IMDb top 100 and talk about good films, basically. Awesome. Because there aren't enough podcasts with people talking about films. Yeah. And what awesome. are you up to now? Um, we have done. Um, so we've done. Okay. Scarface was the last one. Was it? The yeah. next one we have to do is uh, Spirited Away. Oh, that's a ah, great I movie. I don't great know if that's the next one that will come out chronologically okay. uh, because. I'm not doing editing. I so. love Spirited yeah. Away, though. That is such a good movie. Uh, oh. Yeah, it, it's brilliant. And the podcast I would like to uh, mm. plug is a uh, friend of the show, um, Logan. Mm. A oh, friend, former host of the show, I suppose, um, which is Brain Adventures, yeah. which is on Twitter at Brain ADB podcast. podcast. I know how to say that a lot. I had to say that a lot on <laughs> our podcast as well. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. Um, and they play some really creative, interesting takes 100%. on 5e with some really cool settings. Yeah. So, um, and they are blowing favorites. up the TikToks. So you should go they, on their TikTok. I, I, I don't have TikTok, so well, Hamilton is, is also blowing TikTok? up the TikTok. How, with... um, I, I got a message from him the other day saying Hamilton doesn't know how to use TikTok trends. Bless him. <laughs> so, oh, how do I not? What do you, how do you use TikTok? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you, you, you have to take it up with her. Um, tell, well, tell but, her to um, give me give the old man a, a, a TikTok. I know. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'm but, sitting here going, and I do. But I did the I did the uh, who my celebrity parents were, and that was yeah. that was a trend, wasn't it? Did did. did did you did you go viral? I got uh, I got two hundred and thirty seven views. Yeah, wow, that, wow. Is that, nice. Is that, I That's not know. bad. That's good. Is that all right? Um, yeah. yeah, pretty good. That's good. I did it. But, I got uh, Brad Pitt and Scarlett Johansson, and I did it to Macklemore's uh, Brad Pitt's ugly cousin, <laughs> which I thought nice. was perfect. So anyway, you can that, see that's me on funny. TikTok. Okay, um, but Brain that's, Adventures, that's yeah, funny. they they have some <laughs> great uh, settings. So one of my favorite yeah. ones is um, called A Familiar Journey, where they all play. Yeah. familiars of sort of magic users and it's just a super fun kind of creative yeah like really fresh take it's not really something i've encountered that's no they are always podcasts, they're so. always doing really good concepts they are very good very good yeah indeed. so that's that's my recommendation cool. at Bray adv podcast there you go and then cool. luke go on hello go on who are you gonna mention <laughs> my, my name is luke um <laughs> okay, you can I'm... you can uh, shush give me some credit <laughs> all right <laughs> you can follow me at Duda Rooney. Uh, check out the show notes or down below if you're watching the, the bod uh, on how to spell that because it's stupid. Um, please follow uh, also my soon to be coming out Pathfinder Second Edition podcast. We have kind of started recording a bit. Um, that is Cut from the Chronicles. You can follow us on Twitter at CFT Chronicles. Um, I would like to recommend a podcast called Roleplay Retcon. Um, oh. They, oh. <laughs> they, I was no, not well, expecting that. <laughs> I'm not going to start recommending the big ones. I don't need any help. Like, um, no, Roleplay yeah, Retcon, I, I, I've been following them for a couple of years now since uh, the D&D show started. And we kind of connected on Twitter. And I thought they had a really good concept for a show. And I loved them. They're hilarious. So basically, what they do is they take movies that are kind of not considered to be that great mm. um and then through the art of tabletop role-playing games they retcon them oh, and i love the, do the story this. yeah exactly so their first series they did was um uh, batman and robin oh yeah um <laughs> That's brilliant. their second series was i think series is only around 10 episodes they're yeah. not very long um their second series was indiana jones and the crystal skull um, they've oh, done. I'm inter- I would love to listen to that. They yeah. make it good. That series yeah. was fantastic. Um, they've li- done. Oh, yeah. oh, I've listened to all of them. Yeah. They've Have done, you listened um... to it as well, Chris? Were you saying you've listened? To... I've listened a little bit, not not okay. much, but uh, yeah. yeah it's... They've yeah, done yeah, um, good, yeah. Twilight, which was all pretty amusing. <laughs> um, that. What else have they done? Loads. They did the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> they did the 2000 <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons movie, oh, which is God. the only series they've done where they actually use 5e every season is a different uh system system that they use and they oh, tend wow. to use smaller smaller How systems can, where as can well. you find them on the internet so, so uh follow them on twitter at roleplay retcon, roleplay um, retcon. awesome yeah 
So their most recent recent series they did was the Pixels movie, which was pretty good. That's just <laughs> just finished. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I absolutely adore them. I love them. They're apart from like people who I'm friends with. They're one of the few well, people that I'm, I'm in the Discord group as well, and I chat to them all the time. They're fantastic people. Potential uh, guests for a Dragons Duel episode? Perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. yeah. I can uh, see that. Time Just, zones. Uh, yeah. Willing. They're all American, but yeah. they're great guy. Great guys. Really funny. Um, <laughs> and uh, I love them. Sorry, just the way you're like, they're all American, but they're great guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't, I won't hold that against them. But, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No, fantastic. They're, they're fantastic. Yeah, I, I absolutely love them. Uh, they also shout, they've shouted me out a couple of times on their show. Oh, cool. um, their most recent episode, they did shout us out again. Because basically at the end of every season, they do a rehash where they just talk about the season, about the original movie, what they think mm. they did well. And they take questions in from fans. And I d- did a tweet at them and stuff. So they read that out and then shouted out Dragon's Jewel as, as oh, a result. Nice. So, oh, yeah, well, okay. oh, well. Well, then I will. Oh, well, thank you very much to them. And we, I will, yeah, awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, and the glass cannon pod. In that case, I'll, I'll, I'll jump in and send a shout out because we also had a shout out from, um, it's not an actual player, but um, Dads and Dragons oh, yes. podcast. And they yes. gave us a shout out uh, did, the other yes. week on that thank as well, you, which was really Jim. awesome of them. Yeah, I yeah, did. Go, I go listen to, to them, follow them. They're, they're amazing. Mm. No, they are very good as well. Very good. Ah, oh, awesome. Well, I'm Hamilton. You can find me at DM underscore doesn't on the internet. You can also find me at the Dragon's Jewel thing. <laughs> that Dragon's Jewel. <laughs> at that Twitter. You can find me on the Twi- the TikToks doing stupid things. Yeah. The TikToks, because that's how you say it, kids, right? Yeah. Doing mm-hmm. the tr- exactly. trending. Exactly. Tickety tocks. The hopscotch. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, whatever. I just try. I just was having fun. It was quite fun, to be honest. Um, that's what it's for, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. <laughs> um, and. I would like to shout out one that was recommended to me recently by mm. Luke, which was Luke. my game fiction addiction, which oh, is now my oh, yeah. podcast addiction. Now I love it. Isn't it great? Ooh. Isn't it's it great? It's really, yeah. really, really good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, they they are they're both amazing and uh, very insightful and funny. And uh, it's basically for people who don't know they. Uh, um, I gotta remember the names uh, of the people involved because my brain is gone. I've is just had twenty Amy? different names. Is it Amy something? I'll just I'll, I will Google this and I will I will I will get this uh, uh, fiction addiction. So it's uh, Amy Mallet. Amy Mallet. That's it. So it's Amy Mallet and uh, I think she has she does have a different person with her like on different. That's it. Yes episodes yes so. yes it's amy mallet who runs it it's very funny it talks about uh basically video games and the sort of narrative behind them it's sort of talk it very much spoilery so if you haven't played them you, you know just beware of that but um yeah the the first one is uh the one where they break out of prison i've forgotten mm-hmm. the ones that the two brothers uh and it's very good and uh and then from then on they also do um there's last of us in there there's there's lots anyway yeah, I've had too many tabs open that my brain is now fried, so I can't remember anything mm. anymore. So that's a big move. That was great, and because yeah. I tweeted them last week, cause we talked about them last yeah, week, didn't did, we? Yeah. And, I, and I tweeted them, and I said, oh, you know, like I just recommended my friends. I was like, oh, when are we gonna have another episode? Because they haven't dropped one in months. Mm. Um, and she replied and was like, oh, you just made my day. Thank you. I've been really busy. Yeah. I started a new job, but you, I was thinking about packing it in, but you've just, you know, reignited yeah. my passion. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, um, no, I hope they do more. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. She, so. I think what's great is there's industry insight there. So yes. um, Amy used to work for IGN, yeah. um, but she now works for Netflix or Amazon or something. Like, I can't remember what. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's yeah, through. So. Uh, yeah, it's through. Um, yeah, it's the PlayStation Access, isn't it? Is that something how? like yeah. that. Yeah. Is so it? she's you know industry expert on mm. gaming and stuff. And yeah, yeah, and it's a real, it's it's a really good insight because she she takes games that like you said have a really great narrative. So they don't talk about crappy you know battleground type games like Fortnite mm. or anything like that. They talk about you know games that maybe often miss you know long long yeah. play RPGs and stuff. Yeah, brilliant show. Yeah, really good, really good, really good. Awesome. Okay, so I think with that, that is that is let's let's plug loads of people and uh, <laughs> and basically we will see you next time on Dragon's Jewels. Dragon's Jewels. And now back to Dungeons and Dragons.